I think the class did their homework this week. Okay. Are you still tweeting me? In what in, in, in what way? How do we I didn't know we had homework assignments on the podcast. Yeah, no, nah, you know. It's funny, I actually wanted to talk about today how I don't feel like any podcasters yeah. do any homework. Really? I don't I, think that's true. Wait, I don't think what that's do you true. mean? Like the landscape? Do y'all listen to other pods? Yes. Yeah. Of course. They just what no, 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 no. It's mad early, bro. On I wanted to get here, my shit off later. <laughs> I know this wasn't your point, but on the way here, I'm listening to my new favorite political podcast, Pod Save America, and they definitely do their homework. <laughs> they're called they have clips they have yeah. they have like the speeches it's, it's yeah, political yeah, yeah. you know so pods do do their homework what, what are you is the to? skin tone of their host oh they're all white you racist there we go all right in so the black the old- no in the black space i think niggas is just turning on shit and talking no i don't, I don't think like we do white people too yeah yeah for sure yeah because they're, they're, they're very bullshit, corky bullshit. Yeah, yeah they're very corky funny you bullshit. can't say, you can't say black podcasters don't do their research i can no, oh, you can't. no, we respect I'm right good, here. good black podcasters who put a lot into their craft. Yeah. Well, I only listen to about two. So maybe oh I'm talking about those two. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about a small pool of <laughs> niggas who I just think turn shit on and just talk about yeah what's I've, happening in the world. I've heard podcast listeners that enjoy the potters who do research and don't do research because if they don't do research, they could kind of just live in what if land. And then with the research, they could mm-hmm. actually be like truthful. Honestly, <laughs> I don't mind if. If a, my, the podcast host that I'm listening to, if they don't do their research, if they're figuring it out with us in real time, like, hey, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I watch yeah. this movie. Like, I don't mind. I, I'm not, like, yelling at them, like, oh, my God, you guys are so responsible. I just don't like when people who don't do their research say their thing as if it's, like, a fact. Then you're spreading misinformation. Yeah, but if we're, if we're yeah. all just chilling, trying to, like, talk about something, I won't really be, like, yell at them like they do to But us. I'm even talking about <laughs> myself because, like, I don't do the most research. Sometimes I just see shit and I just turn on the microphone and I just talk shit too. But it's the need to know. It is, but sometimes I don't be knowing. Like y'all gotta but understand. No. Y'all, y'all know because y'all are in it. <laughs> y'all know. We're, we might be the only podcast that continuously charts within the top 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, whatever. The top music charts that collectively have a nine to five. Yeah. So are we? Oh. If we looked, I, I think if we did the science right now, like, right, mm-hmm. pause this episode as you're listening to it, go to the music charts <laughs> and go look at our contemporaries and they're all back my network. So they're all people who are already established. I legit think we are the only people who still have nine to fives and do this shit as consistently as we do. We working too hard. I, and, I, and that's why I can spread misinformation. No, it's a need to know. Oh, podcast. you're saying like you don't have the time to research. I don't. No, no, hmm. nigga, I'm broke. No, you're not. No, you're not. The no, fuck I'm is not. going on I'm in here? Like, you not. just I'm coming not. in line today? I did lie on that. So, I did you really do your that. homework? Did you see Deadpool? Did you see Wolverine? I did. Oh, I did. Okay. I did. Okay. I, did. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't do it for homework purposes though. That's Personal. just my bad. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a Marvel nerd. <laughs> yeah. I well, we need you today. We need you today. Yes. Okay. We need a sixty point performance. Six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine like Phil Jackson yeah. went to Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or Shaq or what, whatever, whoever his players are, and said, yo, today we need you for 60. You mean when he did? <laughs> Wait, why is that? He can't. <laughs> Asking didn't somebody he... like, yo, I need you for 60 today. Didn't that's he, a he bit didn't much. say shit like that? I don't think anybody's think... ever been asked to drop 60. What you, oh. what you think the coach said when, when Kobe gave him 81? At halftime. I don't think, <laughs> I think Kobe's just that <laughs> diabolical where yeah. he woke up every day and oh, said, I'm probably, dropping 81. He probably said, I'm going to do 81 specifically today because that's how precise he is. I feel like <laughs> he would do shit like that. I that's feel like. very specific. Russell Westbrook did some shit like that. Like, well, I'm going to score this oh. many points. He had a 20, 20, 20 triple double. Yeah. Uh, but like, in purposely? The name, yeah, in the name of Nipsey. Yeah. When Nipsey passed away, <gasps> he was real big friends with Nipsey and he dropped the 20, 20, 20 triple double. Crazy. Damn. That's one of the craziest stats in history. Because like Paul did the same for his grandparents that had died in high school. School. Yeah, Aww. that's a fact. Hey, you can purposely do it if you try. I want that go over your head now. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, you did your homework? Yes, I did. Finally, usually I'm the late, I'm the late one of the bunch. Yeah. I like to take my time seeing movies, but you know, I took my ass straight to the movie theater, and I have a couple, I have a few thoughts. Unless it's Will good. Smith. Huh? If it's Will Smith, you voluntarily go to the movies. No, she didn't. I, no, no, I was no, the only one no, that did Bad the homework Boy, that Bad week. Boys, it took me like three weeks to watch um, it, and I did not care yeah. about Alex judging me. I did yeah. not care. I, I was judging the both of y'all. Y'all yeah. supposed to be Will Smith. But I'm like, Smith. okay, judge me. I don't give a fuck. You listen to the single too? <laughs> huh? You listen to the single? Yes. Oh, yeah, we were bummed it before you came. Before we get into anything, let's introduce who we are on the podcast. I go by the name Savon. Oh, damn, you're not rapping anymore? Nah, right? I ain't rapping today. Oh, yeah, I ain't rapping today. I ain't rapping today. Damn, it's your boy, A, as always. The Paco Ramon Poppy. 
Never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. It's me, Reggie. I'm the only one. I was going to say I'm the only one without a cool intro, but now Savon also doesn't have a cool intro as well, so I don't know what to do now. I'm an outlier now. <laughs> yeah. He's I don't the, know. the only one that was consistent. Damn. He is consistent. Damn. And I feel like I'm going to bring something else back. Like, I think the, the essay, VO, and like, I, I think. Like, no, I like the No, I like you? it too. Yeah. I, I like it too, but I think I got to, like, I want to surprise y'all with it. I don't want it to be oh one of those goodness. things you get used to. But no, it's gonna be a weekly <laughs> intro say, thing, yeah. Savon. No, 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 no. See, I'm not one of those men I want you to get used to. Like, I need, I, I like to <laughs> oh my throw God. a little oh, you, spice out there. You, you listening what I'm to me on the way here? That sounds like some no, Neo shit. No, but you know, women love consistency, though. Oh, <laughs> they do, but they also like toxicity. Oh, toxicity gosh. can be consistent. <laughs> women do. You know what? That is true, Alex. I do not subscribe bar. to this. That was a bar. <laughs> Unfortunately. And also, we got our guy, the man behind the cam, uh, the good brother, Pierre. What's going on, Pierre? Yo, what's up? L lineup still messed up, so I still got the hat on Yo, today. Pierre, sure. I think Talk you may... Like, I don't know why you're doing this, right? Alex inspired me. Because once you commit to the That's hat life... <laughs> <laughs> like no legit listen to me okay. like look, look at me now he backwards look at me. I'm, I'm the captain like once you commit to wearing a hat and it becomes a part of you mm -hmm. there Parker. is no going back i don't think it's a part no. of him yet though. Go back. I, and go i know back. but he's trying to make it a part of him and i don't want that for him yeah, no, why Alex? backwards it though <laughs> i inspired him no no, no i'll tell you why oh. i backwards it because the, i got a light source right here and if i Put it the other way. The brim is going to cover the light source. Huh. But I, I want to instill some. Like, I, I want to instill some confidence in you. Okay. The way that I wish somebody had instilled that confidence in me to leave my house without a hat. Okay. Okay. So I want you to understand. It's not as bad as you think. And if you say so. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yeah. I know you probably don't want to like a golfer, but you're a golfer now. I'm a lot of things. Okay. I mean, I'm a lot of things. Golfer so life. You you don't have to you don't have to be a slave to the hat. Or, um, I've I've assumed that position on this podcast where I've, I'm I'm a slave to it. I yo, shower with yo, it. You got to stop trying to recruit it. me. I run with it. That's disgusting. You don't. You I said that's disgusting. What do you mean? Don't recruit me. You shower me with it. I do. No, I you do. wash it. He's joking. Yeah, you wash it. Yo, I gotta stop lying. Yo, I'm I got called out for lying on the pod. You see? Wait, well, what you tell you? A real good friend was like, "Yo, you just be talking shit. Like you just be lying." No, my friends do that to me all the fucking time. But do y'all be lying for it's real? It's entertaining. I mean, you know, I've been no. doing a little sauce on those stories. No, no, no. What I do is when I tell stories about my friends, yeah. I change characters, and they they know who I'm talking about, and they're like, "Girl, you're lying." I'm like, "No, I'm trying to save your identity. Like, <laughs> that's, stop." Like, yeah. <sighs> that's the best part of podding. Yeah. Taking Mine. some truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, you know what Take I love doing? I love telling a wild story by saying, like, oh my friend, you know, my homegirl, she did this, but I'm actually talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing to do, Upon. Take some truth, yeah. modify it a little bit. Yeah. Modifying the truth. Modify oh, it. Like Wait, what did you lie about? Who me? Yeah. Oh, I just said I shower with a hat on, and I don't. No, no but you said your friend. friend told you that you lied. Oh, um, oh, I lied last week on a podcast. <laughs> For real. And she called me out on it. Surprise, surprise. Wait. What's the difference between lying and entertaining? That's um, a good question. Well, last week I straight up lied. Okay. Lying is not the truth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So last week I told y'all <laughs> when I went to Mexico, <laughs> I read a book with candlelight. Oh. <laughs> that didn't happen. I knew you were dragging. I was like, wait, how, yeah, did, that that like, how did you? Yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. You and LeBron are really Capricorn. It felt <laughs> great though. You lied about the most random thing. You things. and LeBron are the same. Y'all never finish y'all books. The way that I see it, <laughs> if I were to have read that night, I would have needed the candlelight. What? Facts. So I didn't no, 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 no. Think really? about it. So I was speaking in a tense that I wasn't living in. That's all. I ain't lie. So I just, lie. I gave you the multiverse. <laughs> the multiverse. I gave you the multiverse version. You I like get what I'm saying? He was gave, like storytelling. I gave you the goddamn multiverse version. I see what you're saying. You like, see? In another world, this in, could be true. In another That's world, a I meta lie. still could have been in a hurricane, <laughs> needing to read a book in the dark, and all I would have had is a candlelight. I, I, yeah, I just fabricated <laughs> another dimension, another do universe. Guys, do you guys believe that we have a multiverse going on right now? Yeah. Like there's another Just look year. around. <laughs> What do you? I don't know what that means. The world has changed since you. We've gotten no, but like, is right? there like another Alex in another universe? Yeah, I'm I'll scared. Be so he, sad I'm if, scared. He white. If I'm not like. <laughs> no, why would he be white? He's still you. And why would you be scared? That could be white. <laughs> why would you be scared? Because <laughs> then I won't be the same. Now, nah, white you would like rule the world. You think so? I think so. Shit, why I'd be afraid rule, of white you. Why can't you rule the world? Yeah, nah, what? Black, what's, up? Huh? what's up? What's up with you? And black kind of black man world. Society. It's not me. What? That's society. But it's some blacks doing well in society. I know, but none of them is ruling the world. 
Yeah, I definitely don't want to rule mm. the world. I will be I'm sad if missed. I find out there's a multiverse and there's like 20 Reginas and I'm not the coolest one. <laughs> That would what hurt. is the fucking no, point? That would hurt. Like, no, that would hurt. Like another, <sighs> your other version of you is more lit than you. No, that would be crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> that would make me. Oh my god. Well, the multiverse. <laughs> speaking of the fucking multiverse, <laughs> yeah. Deadpool Wolverine is Deadpool yeah. like the best Marvel movie? Yo, I fucking love that movie. I ain't gonna. No, I want to go see it again because there's nothing else like it. So I'm like, <laughs> is there not like that type? Like the way that they talk, so like and the realness, like how much they reference real life. And I'm like, is this the best Marvel movie, or am I getting a little? Uh, I have no away? idea. Yeah, no. Nah. I just know I will never. We're gonna get copyrighted. Be able. Sorry, Karen. I will <laughs> never be able to listen to the song the same. Bye, bye, bye. That was. Oh yeah. That was the best op- alert. opening scene of all time. Spoiler alert. He was getting crazy too when this Yo, shit was going down. Bro, he was getting crazy. Th- it made it feel like a brand new song. Oh, spoiler alert! By the way, spoiler if you alert. haven't seen yeah, it, but yeah, just skip alert. ahead if you haven't watched it. I, like Alex. Yeah, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Needs to know trivia, needs to know trivia. White trivia, white trivia, white trivia. I Alex. Got, I got this. Watch. I got it. I got it. Who is this band? <laughs> Backstreet Boys for 500. No. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, oh, you should let me answer. In <laughs> sync for 600. I know you knew. <laughs> oh, I know you knew. This, hey, is, this is an Alex hey, trivia question. Alex, you it's had fun. a one, like you had a 50 50 chance. Hit and you out. got it wrong. There's a new documentary out right now. Um, that tells the story of the manager that basically created the Backstreet Boys and in sync, and actually he did that purposely and intentionally. So they could battle. So the marketing actually just worked on me, y'all. No, 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 no. The no. marketing worked. Oh, like you're supposed the, to get I them was confused. I supposed okay, to get yeah. them confused. He just said it on the documentary. The Backstreet Boys they never put out no shit like this. They did <laughs> not like this. Oh, what? Not like this. They not like this. <laughs> they don't got slaps. <laughs> nah, they got slaps. <laughs> But when Deadpool came out to this and he was whooping ass to this, that's, that shit was yeah, fun. That was that hard. Was I ain't gonna lie. If you have not seen Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, please fast forward at this very moment because you may hear some spoilers. I you can't will. contain myself. It's already been a week. Uh, so y'all are late. So and there's no reason that you haven't seen the highest grossing rated R movie that's ever to <laughs> existed. Hugh Jackman is back. What? Ryan Reynolds is hilarious. We got this. Oh my God. You watched the whole thing? Yo, my dick hard. Oh Save my on. God. Oh my Don't God. look at me and say your dick hard, bro. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Look that way. These freaking Marvel no, nerds, man. Look that way, like, bro. Oh, y'all don't understand. Wait, you finished many... the whole thing? Wait, what, what you mean the whole? Y'all Wait. finished the whole thing? The whole movie? Yeah. That's why you go to the movie. <laughs> nah, Alex, no. what are you talking about? I hit me up. I gotta be. I'm gonna tell the truth here. Oh, no. So, I want to say that I understand the preface of this movie. and the, No, it's premise. Mm-hmm. I understand where Deadpool was at, what happened with Wolverine, etc. But... What's up with the AC in the movie theaters, man? It was too you, cold. You can't give me no AC in recliners and think I'm not going to fall asleep a you little bit. You fell asleep bit. during Deadpool? Blanket. What the fuck? But it was so good. That's why I'm mad. No, but if it was that <laughs> you good, you wouldn't have fallen asleep. No, it was good. You don't know it was good. Say, how no, I, no, how it was are we good. supposed to finish the rest of the pod now? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Can I talk about how I know? Can I talk about its premise and you could go into the... You say spoiler, asleep, say spoiler one more time spoiler for the people that's listening. Spoiler alert. Skip right now because I'm going to get into what I think is the premise. <laughs> say Vaughn might correct me. Let's do it. Deadpool had... He was looking for purpose. <laughs> that's what? every nigga in the movie. <laughs> no, she don't do that because they said that in the movie. Thank you, Rebel. Thank you. No, don't go. Yo, I was like, yo, I'm going to kill him with this. I, kill him. <laughs> I thought I was killing him with that shit. And then he laughed. Was my that fault. not in the movie, though, where he, he felt like I mean, he had like, no... That's the overall meaning, yes. He felt like he had no purpose, right? For sure. Cool. I watched Loki. Okay. Okay. So I do watch Loki. That's on Disney+. Plus, and oh. I love to see how it related to TVA, which is all the time travel stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was there for that. So I was realizing that they appointed Deadpool with some purpose. Mm-hmm. And the dudes over at the TVA was like, hey, yo, what's good? I know you ain't really got shit popping off right now, but we need you over here. He felt good about it. He got a job now. Boom. Now, when he got the TVA, spoiler alert again, the people that was working in there was like, yeah, yo. We got to kill your world. Deadpool was like, nah, but why? They was like, yo, your boy Wolverine died. He was like, but I could get another one. Right? And, and then they was breaking down to him the reason, like, he was, a, he was the keep of their time, right? The Wolverine was the keeper, the keeper of their timeline <clears throat> or some shit like that. I'm on track. You, you can't you, you, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm Come with on. you. And I'm, I'm not going to. Right, right. I, I don't yes. want to rebuttal anything that you're saying because I, I do still want people to go watch the movies. 
I will say Sorry, you y'all. gave a real niggadom. Yeah. Right? Like that yeah. was the niggadom version yeah. of it. And I appreciate that. Simplify. No, I think we should that talk fully about the movie because if they haven't seen it by now, they could just skip. But we really should like review the movie because <laughs> there's a lot of Marvel nerds looking for content about it. You know? I just think it was, it was dope. I think it was a phenomenally uh phenomenally done. Yeah. Um, Do you want to know my favorite part of the movie? Please go for it. <laughs> it was I we low-key talked about this over the weekend. It was fucking Channing Tatum because like I He was in it? I know. This oh, 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 oh. I'm telling you, bro. Wait, are you joking or no? No, he's so serious. No, I'm he's so no. serious. But I told y'all what we, happened we, in the beginning. We, we can't do a movie review. Yes, we can do. Wait, because you so didn't watch it. No, I did. Right. You I don't, don't know who Channing how, Tatum is. How long was the movie? I, two hours. Yeah. No, two thirty. Just be honest. I slept. Okay, There's but, a reason why. Okay, but still. Okay, I probably watched. If it, if the movie was two thirty, terrible. I saw one fifty. No, but Channing Tatum was like. Not a big is, part, but he was he was like part of the battles, like he was part of a lot of shit. Yo. And my favorite part was because his role, like there was an insider amongst the Marvel mm. universe, you know. Mm. But now I can't talk about it because now I, talk about it. I'm gonna watch it again. I just we don't have to. I don't want to spoil too much. We oh, already oh, gave oh, it away oh, a lot, oh, so oh, we don't got to talk about the. Oh. But I think oh. there was some really dope insiders. <laughs> I'm I th- frustrated. I think there was some really dope insiders in the movie. Yeah. I, I just think it was really. I think it set up the Marvel universe to go so many different ways. I, I, like, Coming off the job, can we talk about shit? Hugh Jackman? By the way, yes, he him. Shout out. Does he really look like that in real life? Like his body? As far as what? Like Reggie, his, you like, good? Like the way, like he. But why you asking oh, wait, me that? But he oh, because <laughs> Reggie, you good? The ending scene that Alex didn't want, like he looked incredible. I was like, does he not look, seen that? Or was that like CGI? I was up by that part. Oh, you saw that part? Yeah, he. I don't think. So I could, you just missed the Channing Tatum scenes. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> And I was so proud of myself. I couldn't wait to bring it up on the pod. Like, you know, yeah. you know his role. Like, yeah. why they did what mm-hmm. they, they yeah, did with his role. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was so proud I was going to say it, but now I can't say it because I can't spoil it for Alex. No, spoil it for him. I'm going to say it. You don't want to spoil just it for say, it. Just say, say it. Say it. Okay, say fine. So he comes back as Gambit. And he has like a terrible fucking accent. You that's said why, say it. That's why I didn't recognize it. When I woke back up, I'm like, why the fuck this nigga got an accent? No, and it was like terrible. <laughs> okay. It was it was like a terrible accent. He was like, hey, whatever. Okay. And then like, but people, but they were making jokes about it because it was supposed to be bad because they shelved the Gambit. They shelved his movie because it was bad. Mm. So the, the dope thing about Deadpool is he <laughs> is like the only person that really breaks the fourth wall. Like he talks to the audience, he acknowledges yeah. like, yo, Disney, y'all have dropped the ball over the yeah. last few years. Yeah. Like they're you, like, fuck you, Fox. Yeah, like, like fuck, yeah, you, fuck Fox. you, Fox. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine, you're coming in at a low point. Mm-hmm. He actually poked at Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner's divorce. And he poked he was, at Hugh Jackman's divorce. And like de- these are small things that I'm picking up that I'm like, holy shit. No, like, and I Ryan hope everybody Reynolds, else gets it. Ryan Reynolds said, like, you know, there was there was like, you know, some inappropriate stuff. And then he in the movie, in the movie, Ryan Reynolds, who is Deadpool, he was like, I'm telling Blake. Cause that's his wife. <laughs> like I was like, this is so, like this is the best Marvel movie. Yeah, like, no, it was. It, it felt it, really good. It, it was really good. Yeah. Um, I love when major corporations like we 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 talk shit about major corporations all the time, but when they get it right, they do get it right. Yeah. Hugh Jackman returning his Wolverine, being in that yellow suit. Um, <laughs> that's that's a real thing, right? You know, like I shouldn't. Yeah. No, I wasn't I laughing like at that. I was yellow like. Suit. Yes, I just. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been never. It's never happened until I now. In the comics. In the comics, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the comics, but yeah. I'm saying like oh, on screen to oh. see that, like it was a really good thing. It was a real big time for Marvel movies. I do want to shit on Marvel a little bit. Okay. I do want to shit on Marvel, not, not this movie, because I think this movie was amazing. Again, I want to go see it again. I'm definitely seeing it again. <laughs> You have to see it, again, Alex. <laughs> or we'll never you forget didn't you. See it. I saw it. If the movie two thirty, I saw one fifty. That's 40 minutes, but, Alex. But that's like a 40 <laughs> minutes from maybe 10 minutes from the first 30 minutes and then another what? 20 minutes in the second hour. It was scattered. It was scattered. So you went to so, yeah. hold on. So you went to sleep multiple times. Yo, it's PHM. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> napped twice. You took naps? <laughs> yeah, I took naps and came back. That's how I knew the movie was so good because I was so entertained every time I came back to it. Oh my goodness. It was great. I'm not even going to entertain this. It anymore. was great. From a Marvel standpoint, <laughs> yeah. I think this is a great launching pad for what's to come next. Because as we all know, all of my Marvel nerds. Yeah. The last few years have been a struggle. Ever since Tony Stark died, it's been a struggle. Mm-hmm. After Infinity Wars, okay. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's been nothing. It's been lackluster. They haven't really given us mm-hmm. anything to look forward to. I think the one thing that, as a Marvel geek, I was really looking forward to was Kang the Conqueror, uh, which was Jonathan Majors. Yeah. Jonathan Majors, he fumbled that bag. He is no longer a part of Marvel. So they replaced him, apparently. And, and not replaced him, but... They changed paths. He was going to be the main um, antagonist of the, the universe, but then he got into his controversy, so he's no longer a part of it. So they had to pivot. And what they did in their pivot is why I'm not fucking with Marvel. 
this reason and this reason only. There are 8 billion people on this earth. <laughs> 8 billion people. And I don't know, I might have freestyled that number. You might have, but, but it sounds good. There's a lot of niggas on this earth. It sounds good, though. It sound good. It sound good. <laughs> they could have chose anybody else to play Victor Von Doom. Oh, wait, you didn't like the decision? And they decided to bring back Tony Stark. Yes. Robert Downey Jr. Yes. As fucking Dr. But Doom. Wait, I didn't know people didn't and like this I decision. am, uh, me, I don't know how everybody else feel. Because everybody, when he like revealed the mask, anybody who doesn't know Robert Downey Jr., he's revealed to be um, Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. In the next phase of Marvel. Now, I've been waiting for this phase for so long. What the <laughs> fuck? And you... But y'all, oh, but, y'all said, but y'all said y'all missed him. Yeah, but I miss him as Tony Stark. I don't want to see... No, I don't, I don't, no we I don't just know miss what they him doing. like in the universe. <laughs> no, we don't. We miss him as Tony Stark. No, y'all missed him. Well, I'm sure there's a large percentage of people who are very happy with Maybe, him. because again, with Ooh. the multiverse, and we started this podcast talking about the multiverse, there's so many different ways that you can do this. Like, there's comic books where Iron Man becomes Doctor Doom. Like, there's so many different ways. And that's why when they opened the multiverse, it gave them a lot of flexibility because you don't have to tell the truth. You can be a, a liar. Uh. You can move, shift things, and say whatever you want, and then not mean anything. The cameo of Captain America. Yeah. They fucking gave me blue balls really it wasn't captain america do you not remember when he said flame on no nah, i know but like that isn't did the... that not mean anything to y'all no I'm, I'm when the... you see chris <laughs> evans the great white hope on your screen and i'm like oh my god he captain america is back chris evans said he would never return again as captain america yeah. so when i seen that white nigga and that nigga yeah, he, he was it, fast he, he is moving. i'm like oh shit he's moving he's back but you yeah. know what they did? Mm-hmm. They brought it back to when he played another character in the Marvel Universe. I remember that. Which Wait, is that Johnny John? Storm. Yeah, Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. I remember Isn't that, that cool, though? Isn't that cool? Fuck Flame On! Why is fuck Flame On? Because he's Captain America. See, now, that is... was fun, though. That was fun. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not yeah, going to hate. Yeah, that's what they're that doing was fun. now. Yeah. But don't do that with Robert Downey it's Jr. Like a, it's like a reference. Like, you're supposed to... Don't, don't hey, do that with Robert Downey Jr., Not for nothing, though. Marvel does feel like a very close-knit family, though. Right, it seems like everything in there is super in house. Mm-hmm. Um, you would know better than me in terms of how they go about hiring new actors for roles. But mm-hmm. if I'm Marvel, you're not swap. <laughs> They'll change the outfit. <laughs> That's how yeah. I, I, I got swap. <laughs> Yo, who you was last year? You was Groot. Nah, nigga, you Superman now. Like I'm with that. But they were able to do it before yeah. because the studios were fighting over the rights. Mm-hmm. Right. So Fox used to have certain rights to certain characters. Then Disney acquired certain rights to certain characters. And then it wasn't a connecting universe at first. This is the first movie where, well, maybe Well, they not, could do whatever they want. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, because they had the full rights of every single character in the universe. That's crazy. Which is why, again, spoiler alert, which is why you get to see people, um, what's the, uh, Wesley Snipes. Yeah. You get to see Wesley Snipes come back as Blade. Mm-hmm. You right, get to see right, right, Jennifer right. Garner come back as Elektra. Mm-hmm. Like, you get to see all of the possibilities that happen. Because Blade, if anybody didn't know, he was actually the very first Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tony Stark, he was the beginning of this Marvel universe. But Blade was the very first Marvel movie. So to see those kind of mm-hmm. callbacks. Again, for me, I told y'all when I started, man, I had a boner. Yo, so right, I had a boner, man. So, was, I can't wait, help and did you, it. And I'm did like, you catch, fuck, I'm a nerd. Did you catch how like Blade was like, he was like, there will only be one Blade. And yes. that's like a reference because they keep like shelving the Blade movies. Yes. I just think that everything doesn't need to be revealed. And I understand the purpose of Comic-Con. Like, I get it. Uh, That's where the, the, the people who are really invested into these type of storylines right, and Marvel right. and DC, like, I understand. And I get it. It was a moment seeing Tony Stark or Robert Downey taking the mask off. Oh, my God, I'm back here. But everything doesn't need to be revealed, right? Oh. If you're going to, like, do something like, just do it in the movie theater. I don't need to Oh, that would have been better. You know what I'm yeah. like, every, that, I, I guess that's where my issue is. But how would they market it correctly? Think about it. If they don't tell us that it's Robert Downey Jr., mm-hmm. maybe the film doesn't do as well. And they know that strategically. Well, no, I think if it was a surprise, it would have banged, like, so hard. Yeah? I think, personally, <laughs> Bang, so personally, <laughs> yeah. I think bringing Hugh Jackman and Wolverine into the universe, it yeah. gives you a nice launching pad. Anything after this movie 
as long as he's in it and they actually just do it the right way, I think it would have been a success regardless mm -hmm. because we've been waiting so long for him to be a part. These characters, the mutants in particular, because there was a lot of references, again, back to some of the older Marvel movies. A lot of the X-Men, uh, again, we never seen mutants in Marvel. Mm. So I know I feel like I'm losing y'all. And it's nah, okay. No, I just scratched I my head. head. Yeah. I feel like no, I'm losing y'all, but it's okay. I scratched my head. Okay. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Keep going. Keep going. They, they, they never had mutants. We just, have, it, we, we just haven't seen yes. these characters in this world, <laughs> mm -hmm. in this universe. Mm -hmm. And that could have been a really great launching pad to kind of say, hey, let's do this. <laughs> and if you wanted to bring Robert downy back then cool do it in a different way but i just I, i'm hurt that y'all revealed it in this way and this maybe i'm just speaking for me a small percentile yeah because yeah, i feel like a, yeah huh? a majority of people from what i have seen people were like excited that it was robert downey y'all cried for so ages oh my god i man done as soon as they bring the nigga back oh nah but did they bring him back yeah they brought him back his face i don't we saw oh, say they didn't bring my tony stark I, I, but let's talk about it right tony we probably saw tony stark out of the suit more than he was in the suit right Maybe. We got him back. No. <laughs> he, this is another mass, right? It is another mass. I better hear some MF Doom on this. <laughs> the, the, oh, yeah, that would have been so crazy. Yeah. It is another it's, mass. It's a perfect. Oh another my God, the, the episode title of this episode is Launching Pad. <laughs> That could have been launched better. But that is true because Marvel, within the past two years, their shit has been like, I thought it was just me because I, I I thought I didn't understand, but yeah. like Doctor Strange, Thor, like it was not good. No, nah, it wasn't. Right? Or like some of those movies, no, they, they no, they, it, it wasn't. I good. didn't like them. Yeah. So, but I thought I was the more, I was like, oh, I just don't get it. Nah, but they like, have some good one offs, but generally speaking, like Shang-Chi, shout out to Shang-Chi, shout out to the Asians. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. What you was thinking about? I hated it. Oh my gosh, you Alex. Can't say I'm sorry, that. Reggie. <laughs> I can't say that shit. What can't say that? Wait, what do you mean? I she was just she... talking about how good it was, and you're like, I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I don't know, man. We are want... not, we're clearly not aligned. No, we're aligned. <laughs> it was a good move. I, I don't know. I want to Let's move to... on because my feelings are really <laughs> hurt. <laughs> my fault, right? Can't say that during like Olympic season. A word? I know. Like, I can't say that? The South nah, Koreans bro. are taking gold in all nah, the shooting categories. Nah, I got nothing to do with my good Asian folks. It, was, they, just, they it was just this. They all shoot. Like, people didn't like Shang-Chi. I thought it was, it was amazing. It was the film. Is, I like the action parts in that, though. But. The character didn't sell me. You hate Simu Liu? That's her name? Is, is that his name? Yeah, right? Stop mm. gaslighting me now. <laughs> now, nah, like, nah, you know, I don't know these characters. Like, you know. I'm like questioning my whole identity <laughs> right now. Yeah, nah, yeah. The, the last phase of Marvel, it, it, it didn't do too hot. So Damn. I guess this, we'll, we'll see where this one goes. We'll see where this one okay, goes. Okay, guys, how did I do for my first Marvel conversation? I think you did amazing. Oh, yeah. I think you did awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, you did that. I, I think you did great. <laughs> you knew more than me. <laughs> Alex, wait, the thing is, in pre-production, we, we think about our topics. Alex yeah. put this topic on the docket knowing he fell asleep for half of the... I'm, Alex, yeah. what is going on? Yeah, want me to like, tell the truth or lie? I've wait, seen I it. I, I've seen it. I didn't I tell y'all a good premise of it? I, well, you know what? I gave you a it good premise. It, it depends. Like, all right. So for me, it helps me to stay awake because I saw this movie uh, Midnight. I went to the movie Ooh, theater. Yeah, me too. That's what I said. 1150. 11.50? Yeah. I think I had a similar ticket. We right. might have been in the same studio. See? I have no idea. Probably. It wasn't cold in right It wasn't cold in your theater. It was a little cold. It was a little cold. Mm. But I went with other people who were heavily invested. Mm. Oh, no invite. Right? Mm. I went with other people who were heavily invested. Mm. <laughs> really funny. Though. I don't know. Like, Reggie, I think she may have been accompanied by somebody who is also invested. Yeah. I'm going to assume she went with her man. Yeah. Right? Shout out to John. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. You may have fell asleep depending on the company that you keep. <gasps> that was shade. I don't fuck with my family. I was with fam. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get it. He said I tried to get it. Ah, shit, he good. The boy is good. <laughs> Damn. Nah, yeah, they wasn't entertaining enough. You're right. <laughs> but nah, I'm, I'm excited uh, to see what happens. Um, again, it was the highest grossing rated R film. I love the fact that it was oh, rated R. Wait. Mm -hmm. I love hearing fuck in superhero are, movies. Are you going to be the parent to take your uh, kid to quote unquote superhero films labeled as adult movies? That are R rated. That are R rated. Because Kanye took. Uh, his daughter to North. To, took North. I almost said, yeah. Took North to see Deadpool. And what, how old is she? She's 11? 11. 11? Yeah. Is that too young to, to be watching? Well, North this is on TikTok. This is a very <laughs> inappropriate movie. If you're on TikTok, then you could go see whatever movie is in the world. We don't respect ratings anymore. Do they still go hard at the movie theaters if you're not your age? <laughs> I think if you're oh, accompanied yeah. by your parent, them then it shouldn't be a problem. If you're with your, if you if you're with your parent, and again, right, it's mar saying. like superheroes are still marketed towards children right. to some degree, to some fashion. Mm -hmm. 
So I think maybe it's like a gray area with this. But I think if the parent blesses it, then it is what it is. Like, But there are adult super movie stuff, like The Boys, the show. I feel like a kid shouldn't be watching that, right? But yeah. it's like superhero for adults. But I don't think that's marketed to children. Like Marvel uh, is, you get oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's uh-huh. Disneyland that's yeah. and Disney. Like it's a little bit different where the boys, mm-hmm. this is adult entertainment. It's right. clearly for adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, these characters are designed, like you create video games using this IP. The video games are catered to the kids, yeah. right? You're yeah. selling these to children. So if my child is playing a video game and I see Wolverine, I see the Hulk, I see Deadpool, it's going to translate to me wanting to go see it in theaters right right? Mm -hmm. and i think it just kind of depends on the parenting like i think it's a case-by-case thing i don't think i should look at somebody and chastise them for wanting to go see a movie with their child with a superhero being the main fucking draw Mm -hmm. to it i wish we were older in the 90s so we could see um how vulgar i mean you would know better than us though how vulgar were the uh marvel films was that shade the facts was that ages in the 90s i'm only like no no year, no, like no, 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 years, no i'm not talking age i'm talking marvel <laughs> okay i don't know shit he helping uh-huh. me yeah, yeah, yeah. do you remember because i see matter of fact i'm lying i seen pause and ivy isn't that dc though that's dc yeah Shout out, yo. i remember that old film mm-hmm. but they kept it pretty pg for the most even the risque parts weren't mm-hmm. like the fuck shit ah yeah so I think that's changed as well, right? I want to believe, and Pierre, if you don't mind looking this up, but I want to say that this was the first rated R superhero film, gotcha. especially in the Marvel Universe. I gotcha. think it was. Yep. Um, oh, so okay. normally they are PG-13 because of the characters, because right. of, again, the IP, the intellectual property is these are superheroes. But this one, they kind of pushed the envelope. It, it also showed me Ryan Reynolds has a lot of fucking power. What? He, first off, so he's the driving force behind Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of these characters that are super popular today weren't really the most popular characters back in the day. So even like an Iron Man, Iron Man wasn't always lit. You didn't grow up with Iron Man action figures. Like I know maybe you didn't keep up with Marvel that much. They didn't? But did you? No. Growing up, did you even hear about fucking Iron Man? Did you care? Were you invested in Iron Man? I just had Spider Man. It was yeah, Spider Man. I was, saying, I was gonna say oh, Spider Man. Spider Man. Superman. Wolverine. Superman. Mm. Batman. Fuck Batman. Maybe the Hulk. The Hulk. Hulk. Oh were, yeah, definitely. The Hulk was good in my book. There was a, a short good. list of superheroes uh-huh. that we cared about when we were kids, yeah. but the movie studios, the way mm. that they did the rights and broke everything up. Especially uh, Disney. Mm-hmm. Disney sold all of their biggest characters. Disney sold Spider Man to Sony. Yeah. Disney sold uh, the mm-hmm. mutants, Wolverine to Sony, which is why they started the universe with Iron Man. I feel like I'm getting way too nice. Maybe oh, I gotta talk to that's somebody. That's why he's so no, 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 no. We love this shit. We love this shit, twin. We're like into your we superhero talks, and then you like, you're like, nah, no, you don't I'm like. Saying, I, feel, I don't I'm into it. with the shit, no. but that, but that's why some of the off superheroes that we didn't really grow up with, yeah. especially in Marvel, are such a focal point in the universe today. Like again, uh, Iron Man, uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark, mm-hmm. uh, Thor, um, Black Widow, Hawkeye, uh, Captain America, even like these characters weren't the main. Like they, they that's my last question. They didn't really give a fuck. I think they was on to something. Miles, do we really consider Batman to be a superhero? This is a whole different universe. And no, I'm I, just saying. I work for Warner Brother, and I mm. actually work directly with DC characters. Yeah. So I'm always going to big up those characters. Batman is the no, best. I'm going to big him up too. He the best. But do shit pop out of his arm? Do he fly? Yeah. No, he's just Inspector Gadget. He glides. See, I don't need a glider. I, glide. I don't need a glider to rescue me. I need a nigga that fly. And you I know how much strength you got to have to like have yourself glide on certain um, like. Gadgets. What's his name? A lot. Who he trained with? Rush Agu. Raza. Uh, that was good. I wow. know what's going on. That was good. 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 I used to good. watch Arrow. Okay. I'm in tune. That was good. We should do Marvel trivia. Tune. Because if Savon oh, loses, shit, then cooked. that's going to be a problem. I'm going to get cooked. I might just answer it. But I'm also shit. really good at studying, so I might win. Ooh. You might. Because of that I'm fact. I'm also really good at studying. I was going to make a racist that joke, but I'm not. But I'm not. But I'm not. It's okay. It's okay. That's a stereotype that I will gladly wear because I like being smart, you know? Yeah. Learning things quickly. Was Doctor Strange lit? No. <gasps> Doctor like, Strange was not a lit character at all. That's oh why they gave it to Robert. Oh. Black oh. Panther. Don't make him lit. Black Panther wasn't a lit character growing <gasps> up either. Like we knew these characters yeah. if you were invested, but they weren't the focal point of anything growing up. I think I think Robert gonna make Doctor Doom. That's his name, right? Yeah. Then he gonna make him a bad boy. No diddy. Like I think he really gonna make him like, you know, like take that, take that. No, no. I mean like he's, he's got, got a bad boy. He's gonna have fun. 
Bad Boy was having fun. Too much. Too much. That's the problem. See what happens when you have too much, right? Fuck shit up. I think he came to fuck shit up. All right, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> are you on? like are you like not that Marvel nerdy, Alex? I'm I'm I tiptoed a line. See, I'm because right. I thought you were, but you're asking a lot of questions. Yeah, no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Let me be clear, baby. I just keep up with whatever's out. <laughs> okay. You feel me? So if they say this shit is out, I go tap in with it. Let me see what's up okay. with it. Because I like being abreast of new things or what's out or what's current. I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about, even though I fell asleep. <laughs> But I never was really fully cemented into the shit. Uh-huh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I, I enjoy it. Okay. I enjoy it. So much Truly. that you fall asleep. It was the AC. I will never forgive you for that. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> did, did y'all do the rest of y'all homework? What else? Ice Spice album. Did you listen to Ice Spice album? I watched the visuals. Oh my goodness gracious. Of course I mean, watched the visuals. about the same. No, the visuals and the audio go together. <laughs> yeah, AV. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. audio visual. You, you need right. that. Like, damn, she and her move. Move. <laughs> Those of you... That don't know, Ice Spice has released her debut album. It's called Y2K. It has features from Travis Scott, Gunna, some other people I can't remember at the time. Central C. Central C's on there. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. That's, my, that's his ad list. All right. Every time I hear Central C, I have to do that. All right. All right. So. A- anyway, <laughs> when she first said, she's been promoting this album for a little bit now, right? Mm-hmm. It's been a couple weeks. It's her debut album. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. So when I saw the, when I saw the title of the album, it was called Y2K. What do you, let me tell you guys what I think when I hear Y2K. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, <laughs> Hello Kitty. That was... that was good. Hello Kitty, Ciara, yeah. Bow Wow, Alicia Keys. It's a, it's a very, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, that's what if I think. You, you had to be there. Exactly. You yeah. had to be there, right? And that's sort of like our generation. If you don't know what Y2K is, that's like late 1999s into the 2000s mm-hmm. millennium type thing and it was like a, what a re- time right even like soldier boy, soldier boy. yeah i was yeah, just thinking that exactly uh unfortunately i got 06 jeezy and gucci man on this shit yo like i was <laughs> thinking like her, her cadence and i understand why she switched up her cadence in the way that she raps because that was her biggest critique and obviously she's trying to switch it up experiment but the way that she was rapping it was giving like very <laughs> grungy new york but <laughs> I personally, I love Ice Spice. I'm rooting for her. I'm not, I never hated on her. I really want her to win. I think she's a special one. But like, I I did not enjoy it. I was, <laughs> like, I, d- I didn't enjoy the way she was rapping in a lot of songs. It was a shit. It was, <sighs> <sighs> I'm, like, damn, she in her mood. Yo. Like, damn, get money too. Think you did shit? <laughs> okay, a little comedic time is going really around. Okay, okay. uh, but see, you're on the baddie list, Reggie. So, I was just so taken aback when I realized that she went to, those of you that haven't listened to it there's a lot of trap beats on there a lot and when I say trap beats again I'm talking like Gucci Dolph Jeezy Waka and the delivery is, a, is just as aggressive as well like. exactly which isn't a problem and you know crime mob all of that type of shit was a thing in the Y2, Y2K era I understand but I, I'm surprised that she didn't lean into the, the pretty music. princess baddie music or like because yeah, didn't, uh, didn't the last EP do so well? I was just about to say, like, I'm not hating because I actually, I yeah. listen to her music. Like, when Like dropped the Like EP um, with In Her Mood, Delhi, Princess Diana, like, that, I loved that project. I remember I, loved fir- I first pressed play when I was at the gym. I genuinely, I was like, whoa, like, I actually like Ice Spice's music. But this project, I didn't, I, I liked, like, two, three songs. It's kind of like when the fat nigga gets skinny and loses his superpowers. <laughs> but do you mean that literally? It's like though? whatever you mean she that literally? Because I don't want to put Ozempic on her. That's just the word on the street. But whatever I'm not going to do that. I, I just said I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, do that yeah, too. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm not going to do that either. But mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. there is a physical difference for whatever the reason. Hopefully she's healthy. Hopefully this is intentional that she's losing this weight. But sometimes mm-hmm. when you lose your, your, your ass... You lose your powers. You know, like when a fat nigga lose his gut, he's not funny no more. Like think about all the, fa- there's a lot of fat people who lost their funny. Tracy Morgan's still good. I don't think so. He's never made me laugh. Tracy Morgan never made you laugh? He's never made me laugh. I think he's one of the corniest characters ever. You don't believe it. I really do. No. I really believe that. You see was- First Sunday with Chris Rock First him? Sunday was fire. Uh, was he in Longest Yard? Hey, yeah, he was yeah, in Longest Yard. I thought he was not, he, he has his moments. Come on. He has his moments, but I don't... I, yeah, he's not for me. Never did it? He's not for me. He for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's one of those where... And yeah. he's still fat. He never got skinny. He ain't hit the zimp. He lost a little bit of You know what it was? He got that Walmart money. He ran him over at Walmart. He been rich ever since, so it stakes every night. Like, I'm afraid for Lil Rel. Have you nah, seen nah, Lil nah, Rel? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good with Lil Rel. I saw Lil Rel. Reggie, Reggie, you saw him? 
I think I do believe him when he says that he's just on his health journey. I do too. I, 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 <laughs> I do too. Because yeah. everything, everything looks proportionate. Yeah, right. He, like, he yeah. actually looks healthy. No, nah, he does. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. But yeah. I'm afraid that his funny may be gone. Oh, I mean, see, he. I never thought he was the funny. I don't even think he was the funniest, but yeah. I think he has some great comedic timing that I don't think a skinny nigga could pull off. He funnier than Tracy Morgan? No. I right, bet we good. No. <laughs> we, we met on the middle ground he's here. Not, no, I can be honest. Like, I'm good. not going to say it a lot of you. No, he's not. But yeah, so yeah. I, I I don't know. Like Maybe I that's what happened with Ice Spice. Like, I'm surprised that she completely pivoted. It makes no sense to me. It sounds like she's trying to keep up with uh, the Luckies of the world, the little Yachties of the world. Even uh, Ian. Ian is a new white rapper that does like a lot of trap style type beats mm -hmm. like the sound is current to what the kids are doing right it, now yeah, cause it but you like... got the baddies on lock ice uh -huh. why not just feed them like it sounded <laughs> like to me it sounded like y2k but like the gen z interpretation of, of y2k. y2k oh wow like mm. and she named it y2k because um she was born literally on the first day of the millennium like 2000 so it made sense but she i don't Capricorn? Yes, she, she was born July yeah. 1st, 2000. Isn't that cool? January 1st. Wait. Oh, sorry. sorry January. I don't know why I said Jan oh, July. Yeah, January 1st. So yeah. I don't know. Y2K fit. Oh, she sampled Sean Paul. Like, I thought that's where she was going with it. Mm -hmm. But I got to be honest, this was like a really important project for her. And I don't I don't think it was the best. I, I think know. she's just going to be one of those people who kind of transition out of music. Um, I think right now, this is what's kind of get getting her where it needs to get her but i don't see this being a long game for her um she even apparently allegedly i don't know how true it is but they said she dissed cardi b i, I heard about I, that. yeah i don't know if it really was it sounded like a diss it yeah. seemed like a diss Some We're of the news, so yeah you mind pulling that up um just pulling up the cardi b yeah. and um ice spice exchange but it sounded like maybe that was a play i hate when we've become so informed on the smoke and mirrors of the industry. When I see a Tyler, right? Last week, we kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, I, and I don't know if I said this on Patreon or if I said this on the podcast, but I believe that the industry is trying to gear Tyler to be like the next Rihanna. Oh, right? yeah. Forgot where you said that at. Um, where I feel like they're trying to give her the looks. They're really protective of her image and who she's with. Uh, obviously, she has a very unique look. She has an accent. She's not from the States. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of how they manufactures Rihanna's earlier career in the Tyler. And I feel a similar thing with Cardi B. I mean, excuse me, with Ice Spice. To where it's like they're trying to manufacture her into a Cardi B part two. You get what I'm saying? I like, I, 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 and I, I, I feel like I see it, and it's so she's got, obvious. She's got the brand deal, like she's the work, marketability. Yeah, she's working big people. She's working Taylor Swift. She's Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. I can see that. Like her and Taylor Swift don't fuck with each other. <laughs> yeah, they we, don't. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. They got nothing in common. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor right. doesn't even know who she is. No. She was like, "Who is?" Nah, she know. <laughs> in my section. <laughs> oh wait, mark that because. We had a heart to heart too. And Reggie, I'm sorry. We did. Thank you. I, I <laughs> fucked up. Thank Was you. that not the proper context of that word? I don't know. No. I don't know. It felt bad. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't processed this yet. Okay. All right. She's still processing. Again, Go head on. over to Patreon where we really flush out oh, yes. our we had heart some to great, hearts. Because yes. yeah. this was a heart to heart on Patreon where <laughs> yeah. I, I can't say certain words. But yeah, yeah I just feel like Ice Spice, they're trying to uh, manufacture her, create her to be the next Cardi B, Tyler to be like the next Rihanna. Um, I think. The, the 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 no I'm not even gonna say that but I can just see it in real time right. and that's what mm -hmm. it felt like when I saw this whole rollout and I see how everything's playing um Pierre you have the Ice Spice and Cardi B stuff and all just like yeah, she's getting it. such major looks like major. on the on award shows yeah. and like winning shit like I don't know I agree um so on Double XL it says uh people are thinking that um Ice Spice dropped you know um like I pretty much was talking about Cardi B on BB Belt I think it's called BB Belt. Yep. Uh, the line goes: This one bitch is built like an ant. Ew. Crash outs, and they going on rants. Cash now, cash cow, and she said I'd be getting them bands. Damn bitches, uh, switching, but they wasn't trans. Grr. It's hard to interpret batty, right? Yeah. Wait, that's what the bar was. <laughs> yeah. And I think it was it was some other ones too, but again, um, okay. I, I I don't know what's going on with Ice Spice. I didn't expect us to do the deep dive on Ice Spice. I didn't come prepared for that because, like I said, well, you came I, I, like I'm a visual learner. <laughs> when so it comes to female rap, I'm a visual learner. Yeah. So which Travis Scott? That's mad sexist. 
Now you said it. <laughs> I just be sitting like here. It hit me. You <laughs> said it. Hit me after. Yeah. But it's dead ass though. Yo, I'm gonna keep that. No pun intended. No, no pun intended. Oh shit. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Any similarities between her and Sexy Red? I was gonna ask. Oh. Who, actually, who do you think is worse for the youth? <laughs> Save on. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> what happened? Dude, you're just trying to set me up. <laughs> We're not doing that. Me, I think I'm it's not, a valid question. I think it's a valid question. We've had conversations here about that type of music and those types of I'll artists. I'll take the bait. What's the question? Right. Uh, so just, between any... Sexy Red and Ice Spice, who do you think is worse for the youth? Who's worse for the youth? And I'm not mad at any answer. Because we all listen to people who has fucked up our youth a little bit. <laughs> I think they're both doing amazing things for our future. <laughs> Oh, the both of them. The both. That is amazing. How I think wow. both of these women oh, man. are putting on okay. a display of professionalism. Oh, wow. All right? Wow. Artistry. Mm. I think they're at the top of their class where our youth is in great hands following Ooh. Sexy Red and Ice Spice in the future. Well, this is a big development. If you watched our um, episode with Edin recently, this was not his stance before. But now, you know, this is his stance now. And, I think you know, they're a beacon of hope. The beacon of hope. Wow. I love right. seeing women. Wow. The growth you exhibit is incredible. <laughs> truly. That it's was empowering. No, truly. Really, truly. No, truly, truly. It's true. And not in the Donald Trump way. Of no. <laughs> they do it their own, like. Yes. That is, they gotta be. Reggie, is that empowering? I would say if, if a lady wants to perform like that I'll, and she wants to do it and we support her, I would say yes. I'm, I'm glad we can support the both of them. Imagine I asked you that. You, you would have fought me. No, not at all. Ask it to me right now. Is it empowering? If you want to, that shit is empowering. <laughs> Say you're. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I ain't got that's that. why I said I can't oh. ask you the question. Yeah. Oh, but you, you said ask, ask me. Oh, oh not the baddies. No, I got inches. Okay. Hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> my fault. This episode is so unhinged. I thought he was gonna ask you like my the fault. sexy red versus ice spice question. No, I don't, yeah, yeah, I, don't I was wanna, on it. Like I, I don't, and this is being completely honest and transparent. True. I don't want to put them against each other. Never that. Even though they're no, Not even on some fucking political yeah. shit. Like, I really don't. Because yeah. I really don't give a fuck about their music. All right. All right. You know what? He's telling the truth there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. No, he's right. No, he's so, right. Yeah, if I'm really into that, honestly. He's right. He's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Your man drop. Who? Which one? Oh, the boy. Wait, who the boy? Oh, I thought the boy. No, 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 no. Oh, nah, nah, I, nah, mean, nah. I mean, well, that too. I mean, the boy did drop with Goto. The no, 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 no. See, you nah. don't even know who the boy is. Goro. Oh, you talking about the Tory? I was talking about him. Nah, Tory, shout out to Tory. And, and, and we could talk about Tory. Mm -hmm. When you say your man dropped and I say the boy, yeah. there's been a return. Drop it, drop it. Wait. And I don't, wait, y'all don't know? No, nah, we know. We want you to drop I it. I don't think y'all heard it. He's about we to say heard push it. Nah, oh no, nah, fucking nah. Ed Sheeran. No, no, no. <laughs> it's Gordo. Look at the range. It's not Gordo. Push it. <laughs> Yo, when he when Saymon says the boy, I'm like, fuck, it's either Pusha T or Ed Sheeran. <laughs> also didn't know Gordo was fucking Carnage. Yeah, the, Wait, like what? his his form formerly known as Carnage. I remember like that. Yeah, 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 I didn't know. He did a little rebrand. Now yeah. he's Gordo. It Who? sounds better. <laughs> Who should does I, that? Should I do a rebrand? Mo a lot of people do rebrands. Young Blue tried but to change it to work, though. Young Blue tried to change this shit to blue, but Oh shit, the boy. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck that. We going to win. Ah. Oh shit. Street scared. Mm. He saw the bugging right here. He saw the bugging right here. <laughs> but not the stick. When you going to drop the album? Oh, wait, I hold would on. listen to this. Let's he about to give you a different language. No, wait. <laughs> Reggie, you, I'm not allowed to Reggie, laugh Reggie, cover your ears. Cover, cover your ears. We uptown with it. Now he going crazy. <laughs> we uptown with it. <laughs> what hey. else, Kev? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. In my bag. That shit in my bag. My son going crazy. <laughs> the boy dropped. Chocolate drop a bag. With him now. Hold on. Hey, about to go. Delay. <laughs> he is so crazy. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm in my bag. You can't see me. You really mad. <sighs> Fuck that. You with the gang. You with the gang. And I'm with my bag. 
What? What's that? Do you good? You also you freest- you also that freest- shit up. was ass. Yo, it was you- fire, Pierre. That was. Hey, King Lang Lang Chung Lang Lang Boom Gang Lang Boom Shang. I heard the language, nigga. What the fuck, nigga? Fuck that. Nah, but why you ain't shout out the whole AMP house? Exactly. That was their cipher. Because I only see one star, nigga. What the fuck? Nah. nah. Chocolate drop. Ah, nah. chocolate drop. Nah. It's been a minute. See, I come from nah. the era of chocolate dropper. Mm-hmm. Nah, Y'all yeah. don't know chocolate. Like, you shout out the AMP. They, them, them guys, them, that whole yeah. crew, they doing their thing. Not do but Dennis, when you bring Phantom, back. Davis. Davis, all them cats. Chocolate dropper? He back. Nah, Davis. I heard that's what they called you on the street. Nah, nah. Hey, yo. Huh? Okay, all right. That was, when, wrong, that was the wrong street. When wrong they alley. said chocolate <laughs> dropper, I was like, oh, yo, A back? No, 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 <laughs> no, oh no. Like, oh, my nigga. Nah. Why you ain't I'm, tell us? I would send you the unreleased. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't find out just like that. All right, all right, all right. I ain't mad at that. Anyway, Davis had the best verse, oh, best song on there. Is he the one that um sounds Started like singing? Offset, Future? No, no, no. no. That's, That's Duke. Duke. Oh, I liked his verse the best. Davis was fire. That was yeah. my favorite because he got into this whole R&B thing. Oh, I did not expect He sounded like Bryson. Yeah. And Tory slash that shit sounded good. It was fire. We hey, should, check we it out. Do one. Yeah, we should check it out. Check out the AMP shit on YouTube if you have it. You just brought up Tory Lanez though. Yep. Tory Lanez also put out new music. Put out that two pack of heat. Come on now, what else? He been dropping out music uh, since like the Fourth of July weekend. He been dropping out. You're right. Uh, dropping a song yeah. each week, mm-hmm. and I guess it's in preparation for like a full project. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sounds good. And I don't know what else to really say about the music. Like, just the music sounds good. Oh, he did have an update in his case, too, right? Yeah, yeah. He had an update in his case, but yeah, yeah. It, the music also sounds really good yeah. for him to record that shit out of prison. At, behind How bars. How does that work? It's called Wish I Never <sighs> Met You and Cell 245. There we go. Yeah, I wish I knew how good they're getting this, Reggie. I have no idea. So he dropped um, a, uh, a video over the weekend. I think it was a Friday, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, he's saying that him and his manager have been trying to put music out and just trying to get the audio correct so that um, the fans still get the same. Our fans, our fans still get the same quality. So he said basically they figured it out and he's going to be dropping new music real soon or more and more frequently. Yeah, no, if it sound like that, the fans ain't going to be angry and mad. I ain't going to lie to you. That's yeah. that, that type of quality, nigga. It's niggas in the studio right now that didn't have that quality. Look. Look. I mean, it sounds good. It's hey, Tory Lanez. It's some niggas in the studio right now that don't sound like this. <laughs> yeah, how are they doing this? I have no idea, Reggie. First because place. Because people do this. Man, right in the, in, the, in the first place. That's pain. So, yeah, there's been an update. Um, in his case, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if y'all seen the details on it, but I it did. seemed like there was a very uh pivotal piece to this puzzle that was missing at this time of the case kind of unfolding. And yeah. yeah, I know you got the update. Oh, you know I got that. Me and Alex got it, right, Alex? Yeah, so nah, basi- I, I did my little yeah. deep dive on this as well. Hit it, P. So basically, um, Tori's driver uh, slash best friend, he's calling himself. Um, um, slash bodyguard. Slash bodyguard. <laughs> um, came out with an affidavit and basically came back and said, hey, like, basically he was the only one there that wasn't inebriated and he gave his accounts as to what he saw transpired. Um, I felt like the affidavit um, kind of left, not left out, but left a few things not necessarily mentioned. I want to add to that. I, w- yeah. I want to highlight that that affidavit is from 2023. Yeah. And, and um, at the time... Uh, when he came to court, um, Tory's lawyer and the defense, uh, sorry, or and the um, what's the other shit? The uh, uh, prosecution. The prosecution mm-hmm. um, basically said he didn't. They didn't need him there because they were afraid. It came across like they were afraid that the case would uh, be more, even more so, prolonged into um, the holidays, which was the, um, Christmas, the Christmas, Christmas, season. Thanksgiving. Yeah. But for whatever reason, he came back now and he's saying, "Hey, like this is what I saw." Got it. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll continue to follow the case, see how things like he said he's gonna be home soon, Tori. So yeah. But niggas always say they coming home soon. That's that gotta chill, yo. I got an uncle right now doing 30 years and, and he texts me over the weekend. What he say? I'm coming be home, home soon. soon Neff. No, you not. I said, wait, hold up. Like, I love you. You forgot what you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you forgot I don't, the heinous crimes. But I get it though. Like you gotta tell yourself that. But and, don't and tell, tell me that. Lo- now you gotta tell your loved ones that because and there, you're thinking like, yo, yo, my loved ones need to feel like I'm okay. So let me just hit them with a lie. Yo, I'm going to be back soon. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a question for Reggie. Mm-hmm. Reggie, how you feel about this? 
Well, I don't know because well the affidavit. Why are you guys laughing already? No, no, no it's because Pierre's the way he acts. He was snickering and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, this important update, this yeah. new evidence, it doesn't really matter because it was thrown out by the uh, attorney general, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Right. And it wasn't just because it was going to prolong the case, and that's why they didn't call him before. It's they, the Tory's attorneys, chose to not call the driver because they didn't. They weren't sure of how he was going to testify. So they chose to not ask the driver. It wasn't some like, oh my God. Well, there, there are two sides. To it. I'm open to hearing two sides of yeah, it. Yeah. But like Tori's team was like, no, we're not going to use the driver. We don't need him. Now they want to say they need the driver. So that's why the attorney general was like, eh, it doesn't eh. really help your case. And it's, no, and it's like, also important to highlight that Tory Lanez got rid of the lawyers that got him prosecuted. For sure. So this is a whole new uh, batch of lawyers that he's dealing with here that are probably trying to do things retroactively. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll keep y'all abreast, and please keep yourself abreast. <laughs> okay, hey, um, oh, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Will Smith. I don't think just yet. <laughs> um, I mean, we talking about greatness. Might as well come back in on greatness, right? Oh my goodness, Tory Lanez, greatness. Will Smith, greatness. Right back to Reggie. Right back to y'all. <laughs> nah, <laughs> right back to y'all. Um, shout out to Will Smith, man. Let's see if my call is gonna be honest today. No, about what? Exactly. What do you what what exactly do you want us to be honest about? about because there there's I am a true believer of two things can always be true. So I can be appreciative of seeing our greats and when I say our I mean the culture and when I say the culture I mean black people, right? I can be happy to see Will being active. We just seen LL Cool J drop an album. Nobody batted the eye. Rock him is back. But Nobody yes. batted the eye. You get be, what I'm saying? So be, no, 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 I don't know the quality. Some of, differences. <laughs> what's the difference? Oh, it's a lot of differences. Did you hear? It? Talk to him. Yeah, I did. I did. I did hear. It. LL Cool J and the Rock him shit don't sound like I am the pencil. I am the paper. <laughs> I am the board. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am the teacher. I'm the principal. I am the line leader. There was none of that bullshit in there. All right? It's okay. We love Will. But sometimes you feel like everything. Sometimes you, you, you walk uh, in a room and you just feel like, I'm the camera. Uh, I'm the screen. Yo. For this whole time, I've been critiquing Andre 3000. Like, yo, dog, your contemporaries are making music. There are things to talk about. And then here come Will, determined Andre 3000 once again. Just when LL Cool J, Rock Kim and them was doing such a good job of mm -hmm. making all the other elders feel like, nah, mm -hmm. we good. We can rap. Here come Will Smith. I am the pool. <laughs> I am the water. I am the pool. Should we play a little bit of it? We got to. They got to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am the pool. I now, am... when I look this song up, is it under Fresh Prince or Will Smith? Will Smith. It's uh -oh. under Will Smith. Will Smith and Russ, and I think Jaden is on this song. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, all three of them. Yeah, all three of them, right? Yep, yep, yep. They could have left Jaden and Russ on there, though. Facts and took could, Will they, right out. They could have left them two on it. Boy, that like, shit was ass. <laughs> like, we got I'm going to just fast forward a little bit. That Let's ain't no problem. Around. I am Judas. I'm the judge. <laughs> I'm the victim. I'm the shooter. I'm the Torah. I'm the Quran. I'm the Bible. I am a shepherd. I'm a Libra. I'm a disciple. The fuck is I'm he a rich. About? I'm a blessed. And I'm a maverick. I'm the shadow. And I'm the light. I'm a maverick. I am the marriage. He literally said the I'm, fuck I'm, is I'm he everything. Talking? Like, what is. The there's no. Is, what the, hey. <laughs> hey. 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 I can't believe hey. just that. I'm a Libra. I'm a Cancer. A Cancer. I'm a Tongue. I'm a Tandem. I'm the, the, I have the Sun. And I'm the Rain. And I'm the Wind. He kind of sound like the Chocolate Dropper Balls if we really go back. They should collab. I'm not going to lie. Chocolate. The Philly Connect. Oh, the Philly Connect. They if we get Will Smith and Chocolate Dropper, I think your whole attitude shifts. And win another Grammy. I think your whole, I think all of it, Grammy, Oscar, however you want to do it. Wait, he ain't never going back to the Oscars. But I think that. he going to win a little something if him and Chocolate Drop and Link back up. Why not? You know that was some bullshit, right? I am the sauce. No, I'm bullshit. the noodles. I am the pasta. <laughs> I'm the man. What, what was the last time I critiqued him when he was on the BT Awards? You yeah, always critiquing this nigga, bro. You no, I love relax. Will Smith. You I, don't. I love Will Smith. You hate our great blacks. No, I love Seven Pounds. And hitch. And hitch. I'm come on, you're not gonna let me oh. really read off my Will Smith. Rest. I love Will. coming up. What was that? Independence Day, right? Yes, yes, sir. I wanted to be Will Smith, nigga. That's why I'm so taken aback when I see him do this doofy shit. 
Also, because like when he does st- things like this, like to stay current, like yeah. you know when he does like his Instagram videos, I feel like they are age appropriate for him and they're not corny. Like sometimes when he tries to stay like current with the times, they they like land. I like them, but mm. like stuff like this, mm. it's very like read the room. Like he's not really getting it read right. Yo, room, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. So in my mind, right, <laughs> Russ laid down his verse first, and then Jaden. And then Will came in and then they parlayed about like, yeah, yeah, you did good. Do you think people were really saying that Will? Like, yo, that's fire. Yeah, they was gassing him. They in definitely there. did because he put it out. They was gassing so. him in there, yo. They was like, yo. Because you know, this is his album is coming out, y'all. Oh my goodness. Big gracious. Willie part three. Album yes. coming out Will this? Smith has an album on the way. <laughs> you gotta cop the Big Willie. That's what you're gonna do. You gonna that's cop his name. No, nah, I know. That's I don't go- want him to do it. But you know, <laughs> awesome oh, honesty. Oh, my co-host being honest today. I okay. mean, it, the, the, like the music. I, I'm trying to think though. You know, he is older. Do do the people in his age demographic like this? No. How do we know? But we don't know. We're not. I listen, their... But I listen to the other niggas in his age demographic, and they don't sound like this. No, like fans. The fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know if the, if there's an audience. Maybe there's an audience for it. We're hey, not we're not the audience LL, anymore. Shout out to my dog. Shout out to Uncle L. LL Cool J. My son on the song talking about pop smoke on yachts. That's fly shit. I like that. <laughs> that was fly. I got goosebumps when he said that shit. <laughs> this nigga over here talking about some. I am the peach. I am the fruit. I am the earth. Like nigga. We not trying to hear none I'm of that. I'm the sky. I'm the moon. I'm the dirt. You see? You see? <laughs> That's tough. You see? Now, I like that one. You know what I'm saying? You could have wrote for them. I'm just saying. Your freestyles like, are hitting. Nah, yeah, they're going crazy. <laughs> I just you. wish, and maybe we'll find this on the album. I don't want to be a full critic here. I'm looking for, and I said this when he was at the BET mm-hmm. Awards, I'm looking for the vulnerability. All right? You're supposed to put the pain in the music. A lot of people, when they, as, not even when they get older, they always put their pain in the music. You ain't got to tell me Jada Pinkett had you on a leash or nothing like that and he was fucking on Robbie. What's her name? <laughs> Margot Robbie. You don't got to put that in the track. Cause, nah, because you know, rappers get messy. They'll say the side bitch they was fucking and then tell they, all right, let me stop. Never mind. You don't got to get that deep is what I'm saying. But I'm looking for some level of vulnerability of what you was going through for these last few years in your dope. I don't know because what? Will Smith what has never happened? really... He, he Wait, was what? a fucking Margot? Why did he just go <laughs> off on Will? Like all right, my fault. I take it back. I ain't know. Right. They was telling me. What you I, say, right? I just feel like I've never really looked in Will's music. He hasn't really done that, though. Right, we're not doing this today. Keep going, right? The now. vulnerability, but like, it's, but this, instead but it's of just, just the two of us. But it's Tom. From the first time a doctor put you in my. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it took a couple hours to get the car seat in, right? Like, it, until, like, yeah, he's not, never, I've never really yeah. looked at him to make that type of music. That's fair. We're thinking of. Getting jiggy with it, Miami. Like that's the type of music that we like from him. But that's my thing. I feel like I, don't know, like, I feel like in that era though, Reggie, he wasn't necessarily go, hadn't gone through a lot. Going yet. through stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, so now not, it's your adult not. age. So now I don't this. know if it's gonna sound good. We not doing this. Come on, bro. But we know. I we, love this song. We know what he did. Let me remind you of we Big know Willie. It. We know. Let what me he remind did. you of Big Willie. This is this great. Is vulnerable. This is great. So do it again. Uh huh. Took an yeah, hour just, just to, to get, get you the car up. seat right. in, right? Hey, if some other niggas put this up, let me chill. In your bassinet, I listen to the song so much. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not, we not acting like Big Willie. We me. acting like we ain't, Big Willie ain't got it. No, he got it. Cause he gonna make no, you do this he too. Go. He gonna make you do this too. <laughs> I literally know all the words of this. So sing it while I dance. Uh, uh. Alex, don't act like you don't like it. I was over here getting crazy. <laughs> hey, oh, na, na, na. All right, so tell that nigga to go find an oh, na, na, na. Why That's you arriving we... naked? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Going down. Okay, he makes good music, Like, guys. we not doing that but off hold of on. one We do this all Everybody the time on this misses. podcast. We all we got misses. We making two separate. Ho- we making two misses. I know, I know, not, I know yeah. Everybody right. got misses. Drake got misses. It's not Kendrick about got the miss. I'm talking Big Willie It's not shit, about nigga. the miss. Big Willie. Keep calling that nigga that. It's not about the miss. It's about <laughs> where you at right now in life. Mm-hmm. Facts. Okay? That's what we want to hear from you. All right? This is why Andre 3000 felt like he can't get in the booth. He keep playing that flute. He don't even know the notes. <laughs> <laughs> what about God? So I didn't hear them say that. I he don't even know the notes. He just, he just up there playing because he feel like he can't rap. He see niggas like Will and he retract. 
Hmm. Oh, that rhymed. I'm rhyming. <laughs> Somebody got a rap in here. No, we go. Oh, uh, no, but like, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Like, it's yeah. not like we want Switch and getting jiggy with it again from him. You want a more elevated right. adult version. But I'm saying, I think if he does the Volar raps, Will Smith, at this age, I don't think it's going to sound good. Right, so do the fun raps. Because the last, the last that's shit. That's what he's trying. No, I'm the no. dirt. I'm the, the shit. The shit on, that ain't fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's, that's no, fun. The shit at the BT Awards was, I walked through the valley of the shower of death. Like, nigga, what the fuck? What's like, I get the messaging and like the intent behind <laughs> oh it, but God. it was just a clear miss. Like, if you if you if you <laughs> couple the song he performed at the BET Awards plus this, it sounds like a dude that's fighting internally, but doesn't want to tell you he's fighting internally. He did tell us if you read read the book. Oh my god! <laughs> in the fucking book. If you he read, always brings this up during the read, Wilson yo, comments, If you read, read the, the book, book. Oh he god. told you every. I'm not surprised by none of this because I read the book. I know well. <sighs> I get where this is coming from. So you okay with this? I'm okay with him doing whatever it is that he wants to do. He's given us so much entertainment, so much laugh, so many memories. Yeah. He's been with us throughout our lifetimes. And when I say us, I mean each and every generation from Gen Z when he wrote to the, the book. baby boomers. <laughs> when, he right? wrote the book. when he wrote the book. Um, I don't know. Before, I want to say maybe 2021, 20, 2022, 20, something so, around there. So yeah, this, you can fact check. So this is around the Jada Pinkett stuff and all of that? This is No, around, the book was before, no? The, the, the book might have been right before Thank the Jada you. Pinkett stuff. Let's stop. That's my whole point. Okay. Oh, you want to After hear that? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you gave me all your experiences in life pre-Jada that we know of. Now, bro, you've gone through more things. Will Smith taught <laughs> me how to love. And that's the problem. That's crazy. <laughs> And that's that's the problem. Now so, we know. Wait, really? Now we know. November 9th, 2021. 2021. 2021. All right. Okay. Well, he he like so you should read the book. He'll teach you how to love. No, he can't teach think, me how to love. No, for real. I think you need to learn how to he love. He still don't know how to love. He do know how to love. Ask him his He's loving wholeheartedly. <laughs> now nah, you're right. He might be loving nah, too much. He y'all actually <laughs> You might adopt be. the same ideologies no, when it comes key. to love. Low no, key, no. Alex. Low when it comes key. to freedom of expression, when it comes to not feeling no. like you own someone, no. when it comes to letting your partner be them full selves, that is the highest form of love that you told me many, many moons ago on this very podcast that you subscribe to. I do. The thing is, though, his love is different. Uh, I'm going to be upfront with this shit. His shit comes in, okay, we assume something's going on in his life. We can't really pinpoint it. He finally comes out and says something because it breaks in the news, and then he's forced to micromanage and uh, PR control. You know what I'm saying? And I'd rather you just come out with it, bro. Like, just come out with it. But you read the book. I wish he, maybe he should put out another book. How, how about that? I would love post 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 yeah. post, post the whole show. I would love that. August yeah. Alcina, oh Jada that would be amazing. Actually. That'd be amazing. It then it's all right, cool. But when I hear your music, and again, music for me is a place of vulnerability. I've always heard my favorite artists put their pain in the music, okay? If you're going to decide to put out music, don't just do it for no reason. Like I think the reason is for him. I think when you have done everything that there is to possibly do on this earth, when you've accomplished yeah. all of your, yeah, your biggest and highest aspirations yeah. and dreams, you've bagged all the beautiful women that you wanted to be with, you created the family, you're a, a movie star. Like... That is the 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 epitome of entertainment. Not like I get it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Athletes over the last few years, they've gotten a lot of uh, notoriety. A lot of people look to athletes as they are the ones, right? Musicians, artists, we look at the Drakes, we look at the Kendricks, we look at the Eminems, the Jay Zs, the Beyonces. We look at the artists and say, "Oh, they are the ones." The first real position of status in entertainment was the movie star. Right? Mm -hmm. Will Smith was really, and I don't want to shade any of the black uh, actors that came before Will Smith, but, but when it comes but no, 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 but when it comes to that box office, there's no disputing Will Smith. Or Denzel. I'm not, I'm not talking about talent. When it comes to the box office. Denzel ain't sell not, well back in the day? I'm not saying he didn't sell well. When it comes to the box office, I'm saying Will no, Smith is the one. Okay, but there's competition. There is no competition. Oh my God. Nah, you can't. When say it that. comes See, to the number, I mean. there definitely is. When it this comes I mean. to the numbers, can we look up Denzel numbers when it comes in the 90s? To box office. Denzel was box movies, office. He is box office. So, so there's competition, day. is what I'm saying. To this day. So there's competition. But Will Smith <laughs> was just different. Will Smith was playing in a All different right. league, and he still continues to play in a different league. And again, there's no shade at Denzel. Denzel is Denzel. Like, I get what Denzel does. And when it comes to the art and being a thespian and being an artist of an actor, then Denzel is second to none. But when it comes to moving units, selling tickets, like, there was a whole weekend 
the 4th of July weekend was Will Smith's for like 10 summers straight because he was going to drop a movie that weekend mm -hmm. and it would do a hundred million every single trip out. He was one of the first, if not the first black actor to consecutively consistently get $20 million for his role. That's right. That $20 million mark that was the mark in the 90s. If you was making 20 million a movie, the Jim Carrey's, the Tom Cruises, the Will Smith's, that was the barometer for being the movie star. I'm not knocking Denzel Washington. But when I speak on Will Smith, it's just a little bit different. So when you've done all that he has done, when he he's bro, we don't even recognize him as a musical artist. He was the first rapper to win a Grammy. That's a fact. So when you've done all that That's he's been able to do, you put out some bullshit music because it feeds your soul. How can we be mad at that? No, we could be mad at it. You could put out the bullshit, <laughs> but we could be mad at it for sure. I, I don't think so. I mean, you could put out, because, I get what you're saying. Like, you're just like fulfilling yourself now, right. and then it, it could be bullshit. And then Alex is like, okay, but I'm going to say it's bad, though. Yeah, like, like two things could be true, like you said. Eminem. I like the, yeah. When it comes to selling, like you said, he was one of them ones. And I'm not, I'm going to say he had some competition, but he sold really well. At the end of the day, he just put out an album and he's still taking it somewhat seriously. He's still feeding his fan base. He mm -hmm. literally went back to being Slim Shady. Mm -hmm. So my thing is like, I understand it. I know he's a great actor and he did all of this shit back in the day, but, but they say you only as good as your last game. Well, I don't think he's really competing right now. I, I, okay. I, I this is more think, like yeah. I think like this, a side is, quest. Yeah, side this quest. is something that he's doing for himself. I no. think if you resonate with it, great. Yeah. I don't think he's trying to sell units. I don't think he's trying to compete in the, the name of hip hop. I think he still wants to exercise that artistic side of him. I think he has amazing breath control. Oh, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> he is. Fish. I think he has Absolutely. amazing breath control. Absolutely. Um. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's a performer, so his stage presence is always going to be top top tier yeah um but again I, I think we just shouldn't really judge us with those type of ears because it's fucking will it's will smith bro like he's done everything he's <sighs> given us as in in that and when i say us as in from an entertainer standpoint everything. he's given us everything he's hosted award shows right like he slapped niggas at award shows <laughs> yeah. right like for he's us. dropping like he did that he's us. done he, he's mm -hmm. done it all so when he drops a song that we may not resonate with or maybe we may never listen to again i'm not gonna judge him with harsh ears that's no that's no problem we'll we'll wait for his album y'all let's mm -hmm. see what the rest of his album. and hopefully i'm wrong it's some vulnerability on it mm -hmm. i do agree that the music is not hitting but i don't <laughs> agree that he has to go deep and vulnerable with it he could do right. that in a book right so i would love to see will smith start to put out like party songs i would love yes. that i feel like he could do that yes i feel thank like he you. could do thank that thank you you know what you just worded that perfectly for me whatever genre this the valley of the vado the vado the shadow of death and i am the pencil i am the sword i don't know what genre that is you never been know, a pencil i i've never been a pencil i, I don't know <laughs> if they call this I, I don't know if this is called motivational rap i don't know what it's i think it is yeah okay is. that that shit put that in the garbage <laughs> so what reggie just said come out with some fun shit like Lil duval Lil Duvall is 40s. I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Yeah. Hey, can't go back and forth with you niggas. All right. I can see Will Smith we like, fun like going to the top of the charts with like some a party. Yeah, yeah. Life not? ain't fun when somebody's fucking my girl. Then put it in the music. <laughs> All right. Say, say, <laughs> Life ain't fun <laughs> right now. Say, say he was it's playing. not. Put it on I'm the verse. Hurt. So if I want to be the pencil, if I want to be the mic, if put I want to be the earth and I want to be the nah. dirt, this is how I get it out. Told you you going to fuck around and end up sick. You chose dick from the snigger off the New York Knicks, my nigga. Like, <laughs> I want to hear the pain in the music. Tough. That's good he's recall. one of one. I want to hear the pain in the music. What, what you just recited is one of one pain. Because I ain't going front. When he rapped that shit, I thought it was me going Yeah, me that. too. I was like, God damn, I still run into this day. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I want to get my bag out, oh, sh that's one of the best verses ever what? to me. Pers that's what? one of the best songs ever. Shit is great. That's one mm -hmm. of the best songs That shit ever. is great. I think they should tap back into that. They somebody, should, somebody somebody should tap into it. I don't, but you don't want to hear Will. Ice Spice Will. Because I don't. I want to hear him talk about Jada on the song. <laughs> Ice Spice Will. Thank you, Reggie. Good Facts. Callback. And she just spoke about him on the, on her book. Hello. So. Uh, come on. Yo, your wife <laughs> just dropped balls on you on the album. I mean, on her book. You're not going to give her no balls on the song? Well, give her some balls on the album. Nah, man. Give her some balls. Nah, she deserves it. She don't. She don't? She don't. She don't? <laughs> she don't. And she oh, dated right. Tupac. How many balls can I really give her? Oh, she wait. might. She might oh still God. be. Dating. How many balls can I really give her? Oh, my give God. Her? Can't give her no balls. Damn, Will Smith don't want a whole Grammy off music and still don't feel satisfied to Pac. Damn, you just unlocked some shit. All right. What we going to do is... <laughs> 
we are going to go to Elliot Wilson's page. I am going to look at his out his his outline of his page, his thumbnails, because he he po- we know how uh, vigorously that Elliot posts. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to look and see. All right. There's one, two, three, four. There's five brilliant idiot thumbnails or Damn. screenshots that I could select Dang it. i'm just gonna press one to see what charlemagne is saying about elliot <laughs> and then we could just briefly react i have no idea which one are you still going select. back and forth yes sir but let's click this one it shows somebody left a comment on his page yeah. and somebody said to him um you should do flagrant and he said oh okay so it seems like he's just recapping the invitations that charlemagne Apparently sent to Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson, Charlemagne, they've been going back at it. I love the media wars. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I Man, think I'm um, indifferent. What are you indifferent about in particular? All of it. I just, I don't know. I'm really weird. When I was coming up, I thought all of this shit was just be a fan of the music, mm-hmm. be a fan of whatever art it is you're a part of, mm-hmm. and to be really good at it to get people to react. I, I for, completely forgot about human beings and drama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, to me, I feel a little indifferent. Like these are, these, are both two uh, uh, gifted men, super talented in what they do, the both of them. I don't even understand it. I'd just be sitting there like, you guys are both great. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know me, I just wish everybody would get along. I don't see the point of it, but I'm really uh, aware of what's going no, on so, so that we can I talk need to about know it. Where you're coming I, from, see, yeah. I see where Charlamagne is coming from. I'm listening. I see where he's coming from. Charlamagne is basically saying, yo, Elliot, stop crying your way to the timeline. Stop crying your way to the top. Yeah, you made it to the list, but he, Charlemagne, in that brilliant idiots um, podcast that just dropped, um, Charlemagne said if it were up to him, he would switch Gay P and Elliot. And I agree. Damn. I agree. Hey, both of you guys' opinions. I don't think either of you guys should be faulted for your opinions. <clears throat> So what I feel when it comes to like the media people kind of going back and forth, because we see it once a year at this point, um, we see Gilly Hill insert himself, whether it be with uh, Joe Budden or whoever uh, we see. Nori kind of stays out of it, but we kind of see the same players going back and forth over whatever it is. We've seen Rory Mall and academics go out. Like we've seen a lot of people on this list um, kind of come at each other and it's always a thing, especially to people like us, content creators, podcasters, people who aspire to be in certain positions, people mm-hmm. who look at some of these people on the list. Like, and I think these two in particular, they've been uh, such a credible vessel for the culture for so long in their respective lanes, right? right? Charlemagne dominating radio over the last year. Uh, I mean, last year, last decade mm-hmm. plus, mm-hmm. even some to say. And then YN, the same thing, same thing with Elliot, dominated in his field over the last decade plus, right? And so to see them in this position, I think what makes it most interesting to me today is that we are consumed by it because I think there's a lack of entertainment or value or substance with the artists of today. I think if the artists were actually giving us something to talk about, then we wouldn't necessarily be consumed by when the media people go at each other and when the media people talk. Can I retort that a little bit? Go for it. I would argue that media personalities, not the ones that we've mentioned, of course, want to be artists. Not in terms of like making music, Mm -hmm. but just that visibility, that attention, that shine. Because there are some really talented artists You want to put a name on that bullet? I don't have anyone in mind, for real, for real. I'm just saying it to say it, real talk. Like, Mm -hmm. if I had to... Like, Like, academics is like a stream rapper if that he even, he even made music put out music yeah. mm-hmm. I can put out music so it's like that level of attention I think that's what people want because again media has grown and risen mm-hmm. yeah. in terms of how people digest it and what they take in so if anything I could see people that you know our peers be like you know what I want that amount of attention in this like space. on the front lines of the algorithm right right right, right, okay. right, 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 right and also I think with people's wanting to always consume right like Artists aren't really giving us enough content in that way. I don't hear from my favorite artists unless they're trying to sell me something. Who are your favorite artists? Mm-hmm. Wait, it doesn't what? matter who it is. Do you mean this year? In general, in life. I don't know because I, don't I feel know. like you're saying like, okay, so basically you're saying like artists aren't giving us enough to talk about. So that's why these media people beefing, it's like on the algorithm. Mm-hmm. 
I just feel like this year, I don't know, that doesn't really make sense to me because this was like the biggest year of us talking about what artists, like the biggest rap beef mm-hmm. in history. So I feel like that dominated the timeline. And I was saying like that wasn't like enough to catch people's attention. The two, or, the two like, people that are going back and forth over the last week, two weeks, Charlamagne and Elliot Wilson, right? In hip hop, I think they are a part of, and there's no particular order because obviously we got the Joe Buttons and we got the academics, but them two in particular, I think they have the cachet, they have the credibility, they have the history, they have the relationships, they have the skill set to interview anybody in our space, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this probably was the biggest year for hip hop beef. I think this was the biggest hip hop beef ever, the Drake and Kendrick, but we haven't heard from Drake or Kendrick. When we do hear from a Drake, oh, you mean like them we talking. hear him oh, yeah, yeah. with Bobby Altoff. We hear him with Lolo Yachty, which is a comfort space, right? It's a very safe way to get whatever quote unquote thoughts he wants to get out. We aren't hearing from the top artists in a real way anymore. And we haven't for a very long time, which I think it leaves us as consumers kind of starving to hear from people that we want to hear from. And it leaves the Elliots and the Charlemagnes and the Academics and the Joe Buttons and the Rory Malls and whoever it is that you listen to, it kind of infects our algorithm. It consumes our attention because I think the artists have taken a step back. Here's where I get confused. Nobody's going to (laughs) fight. Are they? Yeah. What is like that? That'd be my whole thing. What do you think their end goal is? Like, should they (laughs) link up and talk? I don't. What now? That'd be my whole thing when I see this shit. Like, just beef in general online. It's not even just with our peers or people in the media mm-hmm. space. Okay, you said all of that. Now what? You gonna pull up on boy? Niggas gonna spin? I don't <laughs> I think... I sitting here like, now yeah, I don't what? Think, I don't think that's their goal either, though. That, like, that's a my little point. back and forth for... Now, now what? Maybe it could be entertainment value. I don't know. I don't know. I but, think part of it is entertainment value because everyone's mm-hmm. talking about it. Numbers, uh, you know, views, counts are going up. Mm-hmm. Uh, more people are subscribing. So that aspect of it, I do recognize. Mm. Maybe right. I'm just a bit morbid. Man. Charlemagne called Elliot Wilson "eat a dick, Wilson." No, and then said, "You said that riding dick is the worst form of um, getting your way up to the top." So where is this going? Okay, I didn't. You okay, see, so those are dick, Wilson. No, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Those are fighting so, words. Yeah, so, so it's like what? Those so now knowing words. that, like, I wonder now what their what? end goal is because that is like real life disrespectful. That's you know? what I'm so saying. Like, Can you stay right there? That is why I like to keep my peace and be around who I like to be around. Because there's no in between for me. If you talk out your mouth like that, all right, let's just up it. Like I don't, I don't get it now. Cause that's some disrespect. He said that shit. Yeah, He's, yeah, yeah. He called him. Eat the dick. Oh shit, that's a lot. Yeah. That, that was a lot. That's a lot. He, he gave a lot of dick references in Damn, regards Sean. to Elliot, and they come from the school of well, you're not supposed to really play those that's dick games with somebody's saying. name like Where that. Where's this gonna go? I don't. Like... I think I, I don't know. It does Network. seem. It does feel personal. I don't know how they resolve it. Um, Charlemagne apparently he invited. Elliot to his platforms to the Breakfast Club and to Brilliant Idiots to have a conversation. I don't understand why Elliot wouldn't want to have the conversation. I don't know, but I just know there's a void with artists, which mm. makes us consumers. Because I don't know about y'all, but every single day, if I have dead space in my routine, my daily routine, I'm filling it with something. Whether it be something from YouTube, whether it be an audio book, whether it be a sports show, Colin yeah. fucking Cowherd, uh, Pat McAfee, Gilbert Arenas, it, whatever it is, there's mm-hmm. so much that's always happening. Mm-hmm. And the way that the YouTube algorithm works, every time you refresh it, there's a new video that's catered just for you. Mm-hmm. It could be from 18 months ago. They know what I want to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> they get it, right? And it's always a void of an artist. It's always content-based related. It's always what's happening today. Our favorite artists are not talking, are not saying or doing anything today, but crashing out. I think it depends on who your favorite artist is, man. Because the platforms like Drink Champs, Million Dollars Worth of Game, like there's still guest based platforms. That, Million Dollars that were, Worth of Game has been quiet this year, which is why they haven't, they weren't but, in the top 10 of Complex. And I'm not saying it's a knock to Gilly Awalo. They're clearly shifting their focus. But when it comes to the artists, when it comes to the I'm interview, talking about the willingness to come and speak to us, is what I'm saying. Artists have had the willingness to want to speak to us for the last few years. Maybe it hasn't been Jay Z or Drake. But uh, yeah, we've seen most of the people current right now do an interview. I've seen a 21 Savage interview. I've seen a Lil Yachty interview. He got a fucking uh, podcast now. Uh, Kodak Black, unfortunately, I saw an interview from him and I wish I never w- listened to a watch. <laughs> yeah. I like, think if we're talking about yeah. Drake, like the, 
the like, yeah. most no shade to anybody most important people that we want to hear from especially this year drake kendrick j cole mm-hmm. jay-z like those figures we have not heard from them in like years and i get what savon is saying with mm-hmm. that that is true like i do agree that there is a very big hole in terms of like really good interviews and that's what we really want but then if we're really looking for content as music lovers there's like plenty out there it's as plethora. well so i see like yeah i get the point it's like plethora. i don't know what we're gonna do let's see man. hopefully they they dead whatever that is soon though who? Wait, I don't. Did, I, I hope they keep going. Really? And, if, and if they do that, I hope they did it on camera. But what's supposed to happen? It has to because right. no one's gonna right, physically. That. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't saying. think like, it's gonna end in violence. Like they too. Older niggas, old. like, I don't think they I really don't get fight. fucked up. Niggas can still get it popping. No, nah, they can get it popping, but it's going to be like, yo, you, my nigga, like, y'all, like, come on, what are we doing? <laughs> like, Sean Van Elliott, like, just talk it out, because that's what clearly I want to do. That's what y'all do for a living. So get on the microphones, create content, talk about it. Don't edit shit, right? Like, if it gets disrespectful, let us see it all. I think that's what the other thing when it comes it? to content, too, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And and this is one of the beauties of um the, the the golden era of podcasting that I would like to consider with the Combat Jacks, um, with the Dinnerlands, with the Tax Stones, with the earlier uh, iteration of the Joe Budden podcast, you kept the cameras rolling. We not cutting shit. If we're going to sit in front of these cameras and we're going to hash shit out, you're going to get all of that. So if Elliot and Charlemagne sit down and they really talk and it gets disrespectful or it gets loud, whatever the case may be, as long as nobody's throwing hands, and even if they're throwing hands, fuck it. We seen what Amber Rose and, and, and Jocelyn just did. Like, throw the, whatever happens, happens. This is content. But what if he doesn't? Because Elliot, it looks like he's really standing on not wanting to do any sort of content. He's, he's it looking like he's saying it's up. And it's stuck. And maybe I missed it. Maybe he gave a valid reason as to why he doesn't want to do that. But I think that's kind of corny because you're throwing stones and hiding your hands. You're saying whatever you were saying. So go have the conversation with Charlemagne on camera, whether it be a neutral site or what. Like, this isn't even about money. And I think maybe the money in content creation and podcasting, right? Because I can see a world where Elliot may be like, I don't want to go on Brilliant Idiots because that is a controlled environment by Charlemagne. I can see Charlemagne saying, wait, I don't want to go to Rat Radar or or I don't want to go to the bigger picture because now that is an Elliot Wilson controlled environment, right? So maybe somebody just needs to say, <gasps> fuck the money. Let's just have the conversation, put it out into the world and it does whatever it has to do. Like, let's get back to the essence of what podcasting and, and, and real uh, verbal sparring is. I'm not asking for no violence. These two, they're not too violent guys. I don't look at them and think they're going to that's pop that, on each and, other. But that's why I'm and getting if they confused, do, fuck but it. That's why I'm getting confused in content space because in content space, niggas use fighting words. And like you said, want to hide their hand or don't want to talk about it. And again, this is not just for these people. It's all across the board. Big, small. Niggas use fighting words. Right. So it's like, yo, bro, if we using fighting words but nobody fighting, and we just doing shit like, for what views. Are we, doing? Like, we just doing shit for views, but we using fighting words. Come on, son. What are we doing? I don't even know what's going on no more. I don't bro. think fighting. Well, I, I think I was misled I, as a I think, kid. I think they got a little bit too much money to take their fighting yeah. words and actually fight. And fighting never or really set some shit up because they got so much money and can do it in an appropriate way. <laughs> no, like so I have the perfect solution. So mm-hmm. you know, you were saying that they shouldn't do it on each other's terms because for valid reasons, you don't really want to go in there. Yeah. They both should come to Need to Know Podcast hash it and out. hash it out and hash we will we will help them, you yeah, know, like mediate because like these that. are two goats. I like that. Please. That is our official invite. I like that. Gentlemen. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I'm not mad <laughs> at that. Not at that at all. Not mad at we, that ain't, we ain't got a horse in the race. No. But I do think if there is, you know, um, some tension there uh, and, and it's been on, quote unquote, it's been on wax, mm-hmm. right? We saw Elliot going back fuel. He went crazy on Charlemagne. We seen Charlemagne go on Brilliant Idiots. He went crazy on Elliot. Um, and I think they're too important to this space. And whether they try to like transform or evolve beyond this space, like I know Charlemagne has real big aspirations. He's doing amazing things with Kevin Hart. He's actually partnered with Kevin Hart mm-hmm. on some audiobook stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, he has his own podcast network. Like I, I, we all see if you're in this space and you watch, you know where Charlemagne is going, where he's trying to go, where he wants to end up. Like we understand that. But that doesn't take away from his importance in this space. And the same thing with Elliot. Yeah. Right. Like we know all that you've done, Elliot, and we see that you're still trying to compete today. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take away from their role uh, in this ecosystem when it comes to content. And when y'all say the things that y'all say and uh, y'all communicate with each other the way that y'all been communicating with each other publicly, it's not private. Like, I know how you feel about Charlemagne and I know how he feels and vice versa. You get Mm -hmm, what I'm saying? mm -hmm. Like, all right, cool. Y'all the OGs in this shit. 
Let's 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 do it. Mm-hmm. Get get on a fucking podcast and 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 go crazy. And if it gets crazy, fuck it, because that's what this shit was built off of. This is why we love podcasting opposed to radio, right? And radio serves its purpose, but there's a reason why podcasting is booming and it's in this unfiltered, golden era. It's unfiltered, unfiltered dialogue. It's it's uncontrolled. It's the wild wild west. It's the gold rush of media. Every time somebody asks me about yo, what is it about podcasting that you really love? Nobody has figured it out. And when I used to watch the, the the first iteration of Drink Champs, when Nori really used to get the the legends super drunk, super lit, and they was just going off the cuff, going crazy, that's what made me fall in love with the space. You know what I'm saying? Before the bags came into play, before we had edits, there wasn't an edit button eight years ago in podcasting. Niggas just used to let it fly. So, all right, let's get back to it. Let it fly. And maybe this is broke nigga talk because I ain't got, <laughs> I don't got the shit that they got to lose. But just from like, you know, a consumer standpoint, you know, I would love to see that. I feel it. I will say this though. I, I personally appreciate their mindset and views on topics. For sure. That's just me personally. And like, the comedy that they, that they bring, bring with it. And when yeah, they're... just me personally, like, you know, up and stuck. I get it. Niggas want to fight. They got fighting words. Me personally to the two... I truly appreciate where they come from when they're speaking on topics in our culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's really entertaining enough for me. I, ain't yeah. going I would just like for them, like Savon was saying, for them to get in the same room and yeah. then hash it out. Because yeah. I really want to, I feel like a conversation like that would actually open themselves up to us. Like, all right, like, let me, uh, help me understand where you, what you really feel about me if Charlemagne to uh, Elliot and Elliot to Charlemagne. Like, let's really hash this out so we could try to figure out, all right, like, where do you stand on this? Why do you see it that way? You know, I think it's just be it would just be a learning lesson, uh, learning views from everyone across the board. I want to see why the number four and number five spot think they don't belong in those positions. Tell that man to his face. I want I, I, I want to see that. I do. I like that's just me. And maybe again, it's a void of 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 <laughs> artists because I do feel like that plays a big part as to why we're so invested. Because I see other um content creators, other people in the space like Wayno. He does reactions to what's happening in the space. Um, Rob Markman, I see he's doing reactions to what happens in the space. So people are definitely invested. And there's a reason why we're talking about these two people. Um, even though they come from different lanes and different facets, whatever the case may be, I do think their their role in this ecosystem of current media, hip-hop yeah. media today, yeah. is super important. Now, I think it's funny. Like, I like remixing a name to eat a dick. What, like, that's hard to me. I feel it, but it's like, like, it's that. back. Yeah, it's I back, don't agree with it. It's back to what you said about maybe we're not as invested. Well, maybe let's invest more of our time into the art. <laughs> like, you know, maybe we don't get all of this shit. Like, yeah. But again, salute to everybody. I know content is content. Everything is entertaining. So salute. Now, what may not be entertaining to some artists from LA, a couple of weeks ago, Schoolboy Q went on Twitter. He was tight. He was upset. As um, showing Toronto got canceled. Uh, it was later found out that Drake supposedly has ownership in that place. So Schoolboy Q is currently on his tour. He ends up doing the tour, but he doesn't make his Toronto stop. At the time of his recording yesterday, Ski Master Slum God had a show in Toronto. Ski Master Slum God is from Florida, if you guys don't know. He had affiliations with XX and Tassion, et cetera. Uh, Danny Tao was that whole Florida side. And DJ Scheme, who was there, played Not Like Us. And damn, I ain't going to lie. I wasn't expecting the crowd to get that crazy. Yeah, they went crazy for that song. I wasn't expecting In Toronto. That. In Toronto. Yeah, I was As expecting In, in a good way, crazy. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, they were like sorry. turning up for the- They were yeah, turned yeah. the fuck up. Okay. And I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, yo, but y'all in this city, y'all not trying to have some cooth for your president. <laughs> <laughs> they have no cooth for their Canadian president. That should fuck me up. Um, he ended up doing that. Cool. That was essentially, I guess- but see, that's not even West Coast shit. What I do think happened, though, with that shit is um, I don't think Ski Mask uh, team has much respect for Drake. Uh, if you guys remember, XXX and Drake weren't the friendliest towards each other. Um, it's been rumored that Drake has sent subs on XXX on some real violent shit and songs. So I could see that happening. This next one, though. Oh, hold on. Yeah. So when DJ Scheme yeah. posted, or somebody posted a video of DJ Scheme posting the Not Like Us and the reaction in Toronto, 
Schoolboy Q comments under it and was basically like gassing it up like ah ha ha and then DJ Scheme was like ah I got you like got you. I, I got your back so they are aligned yes. Schoolboy Q and DJ Scheme are aligned you're Just so to right throw that in there. thank you for making that point and he also performed I Like Us Scheme at the same event Q couldn't come to so I guess for them size it just felt like really sweet to do that but the next day Sir from Englewood great R&B singer just put out a dope album a little bit of Maybe a bit too abstract for me on his last project, but I love him regardless. He comes out and he says, yo, my show in Toronto was canceled. Uh, all the tickets were sold out, so I have no idea why it was canceled. Mm -hmm. And I'm just asking y'all now, what's going on? And like, sir is on TD, guys. Is this corny? PSA. What is happening? Is this if corny? you're from LA, do not anticipate to go into Toronto. I don't care if you are Brandy Norwood, Ray <laughs> J. Damn. Uh, Brandy LA, Kingo? If you are a, a Los Angeles Laker cheerleader, <laughs> it, it does not matter. If you are affiliated, if you are known yeah. with not just TDE, but if you have any great ties, like Snoop Dogg may not even be. And we see how Snoop Dogg. I don't know. Snoop is good Snoop everywhere. Good I don't know. Snoop I don't know. Drake mm. in Canada is yeah. a different territory. For sure. Okay. So if he makes a call or if somebody just knows he may feel a way, you might look at the nigga wrong. You might sneeze wrong. If you're from LA, I don't think you should take any trips or plan anything when it comes to going to get money across the border. Because clearly y'all are not welcome. And clearly you you probably should just say, you know what? I understand what this is. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna just leave it there. I think that money good in Toronto, yo. They be upset when they can't go to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> they be mad as hell, yo. Like fuck. I it really... is a bordering country. It is, but it is. it's also another sick. country. Exactly. So it is technically international, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's a market that you do want to tap into, especially if you're a sir, especially if you're a schoolboy Q, yeah. right? Like I think those are the type of artists where they they're in that mid tier where they're not the Kendrick Lamars, they're not the Drakes. Mm -hmm. um, so every single market, every single venue, every single show, every single fan, every single ticket sold, it matters that much more because I'm not the fucking J. Coles of the world. bro. Mm -hmm. And they say that these shows were sold out. So for that to have to have that like rip thrown under you, of course it's frustrating. And on top That's of the fact that though. they think like Drake did it, so they're like, "What the fuck is going on?" And I understand it, like as uh, Savon so eloquently said, like, see, Drake is the man over there. I get it, but dog, if people from Canada is coming to other cities like LA and being able to perform and play, like Party Next Door was just in LA. But all the, all the, all the Hoovers didn't click up, click up and go, "Yo, niggas from Toronto in the city, we about to shut that shit down." It's like, bro. To this music. Granted, now if it's Kendrick Lamar, I say he coming. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I get it. No, no, I get it. Yeah. Annex that. Shut, shut that it, shit shut down. down. But can he? Well, to be fair. I think he can. Like a know. big because that's a big deal. Like, no offense to, you know, sir. I love sir, but like yeah. shutting down a sir show, I think it'll be way different than trying to shut down something that Kendrick Lamar wants to do in Toronto. I think Kendrick could pop out. I think he could. I think he could pop out. Yeah, yeah uh, Canada doesn't come off as New How King. He shouted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah think and yeah, I they were like supporting. That. They were. Yeah. They definitely were, and there are definitely some Kendrick fans in Toronto. And I think there's a factor that we're not playing. So like, when you say, yeah. "Oh, nobody ran down on Party Next Door," yeah, it's because Drake didn't win. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right? Like, but that's the corny Drake part. Didn't win. But that's the corny part about it. You're right. And you can't like, if I'm Schoolboy Q, you were in the video for not like us, right? <laughs> like you. He was on the stage when they stomped on this nigga's grave. Now, for sir, I don't know where he was when the pop out took place. I don't know where he was. Yeah. I, I didn't see him. He wasn't visible to me. He is a he TDE. He's from Inglewood. He, he's from Inglewood, but yeah. not just that. He's also a TDE affiliate. You go on right. his Twitter, it's TDE in his bio. So I get that affiliation. But Schoolboy Q, like, come on, did we really, like, I'll be really surprised. Like, you was in the video. Did we think you was on the stage? Yeah. We know where you stand. Like, eh. but did we think Schoolboy Q would go up there and play not like us? No. I don't but think he would. You I, can't be mans with my enemy and come to my hood and get money. I get it. I totally get it. I, I've known adjacent scenarios like that. It's still fucking corny, though. And I, don't, I don't even think Drake had anything control behind this. I want to be clear. I do. I, I, I think people assume that it wouldn't bode well. <laughs> and that if he found out and saw it, that they wouldn't like it, right? Like, 
I'm sure he ain't like seeing what DJ Scheme did over there. Like, I'm sure he's looking at his phone like, nah, not in Toronto. Mm. I don't think he necessarily was like, yo, any like, come on, y'all. Like, Drake has a lot to do. But his counterparts are known. I'm sure they would make those. Drake reasons. has a lot to do, but when you're that rich and famous and yeah. successful, you really don't got that much to do. <laughs> Isn't that I, funny I, how that works? Yeah, 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 I think he has <laughs> plenty of time to yeah. do all of the things that people are alleging him or expecting him to do. Personally, mm -hmm. like he is, he's known to be petty. He got time to be on so a Goro petty. album. We know he's tapped in. We know he's on Goro's album. We know he's yeah. on uh, Camila Cabela's album. Yeah. We know he, he, like Drake is. I always say this, and I think we talked about this on the podcast before. Whenever I'm dating a woman, and she's like, "Oh my god, I love Drake," and I'm like, "Oh, go fuck him!" Like he's mad. It's, cr it's not that I want her to fuck Drake. I just know he's that accessible. You ever heard of manifestation? <laughs> He knows about that. Everything he say come to life. And, and, and he keeps saying, saying no. That's I, the crazy shit. I'm just self aware. I understand. <laughs> self aware he, he manifestation. He is that accessible right now. If I was with a girl and she was like, "Oh my god, I want to fuck Beyonce," I'm not gonna say go fuck Beyonce, like because you can't. You, I mean, I don't know what they do. You might be able to, but I don't think there is as easy of a pathway to get to a Beyonce as there is a Drake. Drake is the most accessible superstar that I've known. Pers like, and let me not say I don't know Drake personally, but my experience and the people that I know that can get to Drake and that have been access or have had access to Drake is second to none, right? Like we've been in this space for a long time. I'm sure you got a Drake story. I'm sure you got a Drake story. And maybe not personally, but you know somebody that's, been in contact or been to a party or been in a section or whatever the case may be when it comes to Drake. He makes himself that accessible, right? And so I don't put it past him to scroll on his phone or to get uh, 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 somebody to reach out to him and say, hey, uh, the TDE artists are coming to t Toronto. What do you want to do, man? And he's like, yeah, fuck them niggas. They can't come here. But that's how I think it happens, though. Yeah. I think it's other people are part of the shit. Like, let's hit the boy, see what he on. I, I could definitely see that. I ain't going what was the, the was the venue's name history yes history he he helped design history then mm -hmm. oh man so like he definitely he's got strong ties with, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so if i'm part owner in history and i know drake helped design this shit i would make the call myself i wouldn't even have to call drake i would make the call right then and there You're like, like oh they're not coming here yeah no it's dead <laughs> granted though that's the thing see dj scheme all them cats scheme as a simple guy that's florida so i'm sure they really weren't they didn't really have their eyes open. They weren't mm -hmm. really thinking about it. But they should have remembered the relationship between XXX and Drake. I don't know. We'll see what's up, man. I don't know. Y'all want to go to Toronto? I think we should be sanctioned. I don't think we got no problem I think we Toronto. valid in the, in the six. I think so, too. I think we valid. I would love to go no to Toronto. No one's stopping us. Yeah, I think we, yeah, 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 <laughs> we valid yeah, yeah. in the six. I, I would love to. We should go to Toronto. I'd be fly. We, we all got our passports. For sure. Yeah, I got mine. Just came back from Mexico. Oh, just came back from you, you just know. came back from Africa. Actually, hey, I was okay. I was with uh nah, I fucked. Up. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, he was about to, he was about to get I was about to go off. I was gonna talk about my nah, people. go crazy. I was with Alex's people. I mean, technically, we all African, but Excuse at the same me. time, like well, and who, uh, who are my people? The night, the, the whole continent. Oh, dude, uh, the whole the whole continent. continent. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but more specifically, I was in uh, what was it? I was in uh, Dakar and oh. Sali uh, and all that stuff. It was a really nice time. It was real fire. Oh, you was fresh out there. food. Oh, everybody fresh fit. food. The American diet. Well, never mind. That's another story for another day. But yeah. No, nah, cool. I, I feel like we should be the caterers for the Olympics. Mm, good transition. <laughs> See what you did. Us there. Africans, yeah. We, eat, we could cook them at Ba and Ma. Are oh, y'all watching the Olympics? When yes. I can. Yeah. Very heavily, yes. <laughs> so, obviously, the Olympics is the one time where people are allowed to show their bias, right? Okay. Whatever your nationality is, you get to rep it unapologetically even Absolutely. if you're di highly dissatisfied with your country right now at that time no it's usa baby but <laughs> sh shamelessly yeah. you you kind of rock yeah. with your country mm -hmm. um now me because reggie and i have become great close friends over the last few years correct i'm paying special attention to south korea Thank you. Valid. Really Thank am. you very Valid. much. Legit. Valid. Say it. Say it I so am. I don't have to. In what category to save on? I know which one you're going to say. They some shooters, man. L no, guys, literally. <laughs> literally. Gold, gold medal on gold medal on gold medal. Thank you. Gold medal on gold medal on gold medal. So Reggie can't fight, but she can shoot? Yes. <laughs> so, it's in my DNA. I'm just tapped in Got a it. little bit different. Got like, it. again, y'all know, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, everybody asks me, hey, what are you? I say I'm black. Legit, <laughs> yeah. I can't. I don't know where my ancestors are from. Right? Damn, say so I'm like, really the only one out here without a culture. I'm a black do American, right? I have to he latch on. Black yeah. American culture is like the biggest culture in the yeah, world. Yeah, like so. everybody mimics it. I it mean, is. like other than American, yeah. black 
that, that's American culture, low key. No, yeah, no. that's what we're saying. Oh, okay. But, wait, what but are you saying? Black American culture is what? American culture. Oh, well, no, it depends it's, it's on almost, who you're talking to. Because American culture to some... American culture! Yeah. Like versus Republican culture. Shit, like Republican different. shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's It depends saying. on who you speak yeah, to. Yeah, that's real different. Yeah, Relax. I see, you, I see what you were saying. All right. <laughs> Relax, all right? <laughs> I was but trying to make to sure... To your look. point, though, like, I've seen... I'm from Nigeria. I've seen us mimic the way Americans have dressed yeah. in terms of, like, hip-hop culture, though. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, their music, et cetera. So, yeah, definitely a lot of influence starts here and goes to other countries. So, for me, when, whenever I'm watching the Olympics... Um, obviously, we take great pride in our basketball team. I think that's the highlight of the USA. Mm-hmm. For well, maybe for Black people, I don't know what you know the other <laughs> algorithms are pushing. I know for my algorithm, yeah. I see a lot of LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. Those guys, they're yeah. doing amazing. I think phenomenal just, job. I, Get like the... um, USA basketball is as big as we think it is because LeBron is literally the flag bearer, so he is like the most important person. My like, dog. True. Yeah, so hey, like, hey. it really is that big. My favorite player is still playing. <laughs> Can y'all say the same? <laughs> oh, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> Come here, twin. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 turn the camera. Are you talking about Jason Tatum? Uh, no, no, right. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying because you didn't play. <laughs> oh, shit, right. That was good. No, that was good. Nah, Come here. That was good. Nah, that was good. Nah, you violated. I, I, you were supposed to just no, no, go no, no. along Facts. with it. No, no, no. Y'all Reggie. had a moment and I was jealous because I was on the outside looking in like, damn, how did yeah, they do that? Just Reggie, said, yeah. But you yeah, killed yeah. that. My fault. Reggie, I was speaking to the retired players. You're right. Jason Yo, Tatum did not mar- play. My Marvel references didn't work with you this episode. No, they did. My, I'm finally brushed up on my basketball. Oh. I didn't land. Oh. It's I, me, I not just, you. Okay, what were you saying? What were you saying? It's not me. Wait, uh, oh, just LeBron play? and how he continues to play and be dominant at year 40. Wait, but who are you talking to? Like the haters? Oh, the world. Well, real quick, uh, bleep <laughs> this, but what if your favorite player... <laughs> Salute the... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, no, because then that's why he's not It playing. doesn't take away from my statement. Oh, I see what you're mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. Watch it, bro. But you heard what I said, You though. never know who we support on this podcast. We love... Stop saying his name. We oh shit. Okay. So, do that again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. But, I gotta stop doing it. Nah. But that doesn't negate Wait, from my statement though. There's people that like their favorite basketball player isn't LeBron James right now. Isn't that like sick? playing like actively? Isn't that sick? No. Some people's favorite player is like Paul George and shit right now. Like, Not the stray. <laughs> Not the Paul George though. No. All the kids want coming up. We all wanted to be like Kobe and LeBron. Mm-hmm. All the new kids now want to be Paul George. I talk to them. I see them play. Yeah. They isn't they that, revere him. They deeply he, revere him. Um, Carmelo Sun's favorite player, yeah. yes, Kyrie's favorite player. That whole so class, so that so that yeah, yeah. Gen, Gen Z, yes, they revere him. That's their like goat. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I would maybe have thought like Kevin Durant. They love no, losers. Yeah, Kevin Durant. <laughs> why do these low <laughs> don't they love Wait, losers? Wait, why do they? Why do they? I know obviously Paul George is a good basketball player, but like why? Like why the? Why is he the number one? Because it's two K. He stopped. Yeah, it's two exactly. K. It's two K. It's two K. But it's, but, it's, but, it's, but if you play basketball, young niggas don't watch basketball. Yes, they do. Say maybe Kyrie and, and, and no, play, and Anthony. He does. There are AAU players that 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 watch they basketball. play two K and they want to make but their mom player play, like him. But it's not six nine with a handle a jump. Shot, he dunk but it's on not niggas. just the mob These player. young niggas don't know shit. It's not just the mob player. Why the fuck are you watching basketball and saying Paul George is my favorite? Because fuck out of it. Because do the, you know Kevin Durant <sighs> exists? Because they want to play like him. Do you know like, Steph Curry exists? You want to keep going? You want me to tell you what the kids told me? <laughs> what they tell you? <laughs> He's a dynamic wing is that, that's on the off that can play offense and defense, and he has a super smooth game. The crossover oh, like snatch. It looks good. It looks so. It's aesthetically pleasing to them. That's really what it is. That's stupid. Really? Some little niggas is losers. Like, they don't like no winners. What the they like, fuck? They don't like no winners. I ain't gonna. I lie. rather them like Jokic. No, 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 no. I love Jokic. I like Jokic too. No, no. I love watching I, like compilation videos yeah. of his moments. Ah, right, y'all get out. You don't like Jokic? I'm a LeBron James fan, and he has sent us home for the past however many years. Don't say that name. I have name to go home to my horses. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I learned quickly. No, I was mentioning that because did y'all see how they treating our Olympic like athletes? Oh my god, I know you, I know you were mentioning the food, yeah. but did you see they don't have fucking air conditioning in Paris? They're sleeping oh, on cardboard no. beds. These are world class athletes. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what is. Is this a usual nah, thing? They like, treat them like whole... WNBA players. That's not right. <laughs> Damn. That's not Damn. right. That's not right. So you're saying the WNBA? They just used to it. Unfortunately, they just got charters. They should have been had honestly, charters. No, honestly, their treatment is not up to mm. par with how talented they are. Do y'all really believe mm-hmm. that LeBron James 
is eating the turkey sandwich for lunch. <laughs> no, because fun fact, USA mm-hmm. literally was not going to no. put up with it and they're in a fancy fucking five-star hotel room. Do you like, I want y'all to <laughs> they're understand. Like the, one of the only people like, <laughs> you know how we talk about Drake in, yeah, yeah. in Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's LeBron James in basketball. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm from, like, they're good. He now. can't, he can't even stay yeah. in the Olympic Village because it would be a security nightmare. Yeah, he like, can't be in the Olympic Village. Now, yeah. some yeah, of no. the other athletes, mm. what I would like to tell them is, get your game up. What that mean? You get your so game you up, you get, get your own food. Yeah. Get your game up, you get your own food. Or pick a better sport. <laughs> what you mean? Because why you dedicate your life to like <laughs> fencing? <laughs> They'll fuck you up. Facts. They'll fence your ass. Nah, That's, they'll you tell should, you when to offense. No, you should do it like as but, a hobby. But how you gonna go to the Olympics if you only do it as a hobby? What you expect <laughs> to get at the Olympics if you dedicated your life to ping pong? Go. Would you would you let <laughs> yeah. your kid do that Just as a go. hobby? But I would no, let no, them no. know if they were like, I <laughs> want to be an Olympic athlete, but they didn't pick like basketball or track. Like they pick like a random ass sport. Would you let them dedicate their life to that? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a little bit like give me some context. Which sports? Because they're Olympic sports like, like boxing, yeah, like table tennis, like table tennis. Yeah, like he was like, I want to be he or she want would like. Father Savon, I really, really want, would love to be an Olympic athlete to help me make this happen as my dad. You know, you have to support me. But it was a sport like fencing yeah, or yeah. ping pong. I'm going to go make another kid and let that new kid know, yo, it's time to really get in the gym. Because what the fuck is this yeah. first little nigga talking what, about? What happens, <laughs> you see? What happens you to see? supporting our kids? And this, and this, nah. That should be bullshit he be saying. He don't nah, mean that shit. I don't mean With, that. Like, follow he don't their mean, dreams. He don't mean don't that follow shit. your dream if you want to like fence for a living. Why not? Because you're going to end up sleeping to... on cardboard boxes <laughs> and eating <laughs> raw ass cheeks. No, but now you're going to be an Olympian. Don't I don't Olympian. give a fuck. The Olympics don't give a fuck about us. That's world class. And the gold medals and or the medals, you don't even make them. I think I think with the gold medal, you make a mm-hmm. you make $37,000. Oh, oh the, in terms of the, the money. Yeah. 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 Because what I'm going to do is, if my son, let's say hypothetically, son and daughter. You're the best of the world now. They, they may be the greatest fence in the world. They get the gold medals. I'm the type of dad to be like, yo, go sell that medal because you can't yeah. live. Like, the medal is <laughs> worth more than how much you make in a year. <laughs> nah, I think, I forgot wh- who it is, but somebody is sponsoring like the, oh, Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav Shout is sponsoring Long Big Long Island. Do not fuck around. I'm glad you said that first. He's doing great things right Hello? now. Hello? Big L.I. Raised around the corner from me. You know what time it is. Uh, anyway, continue. I, yeah, watch your mouth. We know you from Philadelphia. <laughs> You, know what I'm saying? you don't big, live nowhere near here. Shout out to Philly, though. I love my niggas in Philly. Here, you are from Westchester. Westchester like... is still in New York, though. You live in Wichita. Anyway. Right, continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Flavor Flav actually is sponsoring the water polo team because a lot of them, all of them have nothing for us. Now, imagine <laughs> because... you work your whole life. Yeah. yeah. Your whole life dedicated it to a craft, to something that only a few percent of people in the world even know exists. And Flavor Flav is your savior. <laughs> That's fire. That would be amazing. Flavor Flav. Y'all lying. Yo, y'all lying. He got, he got money. Bro. No, no, no. Flavor I'm saying it's a cool story. No, no, no. I'm Why only saying it's, it's, a, cool, it's a cool story. It's a cool story. My life in the hands of Flavor Flav. Because, because public he enemy money. was... <laughs> Shout out to what they did. What the fuck? I don't know. What I'm saying is they got money from what they did and now it's helping. Lou All Dang, he self-sponsored the South Sudan team out of his pocket. He See, pays for all of the meals, the hotels, all of that shit. Shout out to that. Yeah, we dropped the facts today. That's a beautiful story. Okay, what about and they almost beat um, the USA. Flavor Flav could have just kept it at reality TV shows and fucking women. He's doing something good. He's doing amazing. Yes. I think their decision making to play these type of sports, you got to be evaluated. But you get gold. I don't know, Savon. There's more sports in the world than like the fly sports, like the like the I, basketballs I, and the track. Like there's uh, there's like nah, thousands of different sports. I don't care how fly it is. I care how lucrative it is. Don't come I mean, to me and telling me, Dad, I want to dedicate my life to fucking. But shit, so be it's lucrative. all about money. Yeah, yeah. It was, if yeah. you're an athlete, yeah. <laughs> so, but no, the that's, not, that's, not the that's not true, bro. The passion. It's, yeah, for an athlete, no. For a consumer, yes, you're right. For an athlete, no. Niggas would be wanting to win. The only they want to be the best. sport that I would give a pass to. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be sexist. If I had a daughter, it would be volleyball. I knew. I knew volleyball was great. Say that. No, what about I, gymnastics? Gymnastics is I great. Think gymna- That's the best one no, in the Olympics g- g- right now. Gymnastics, I-, I will give my daughter a pass for that too. She wants to dedicate her life. Like that's, th- those two Are sports. Are lucrative. Yeah. Yes. What lucrative? about bowling? Figure skating. I also think volleyball should be a little bit more uh, mainstream. Oh, right? for sure. For I think sure. it's for a very- personal reason. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, legit. Uh-huh. I like, I support 
Mm-hmm. Men's volley, no, men's volley. <laughs> like it's you a support whole sport. Ash. I I enjoy See, playing nigga. volleyball. Have you ever played beach volleyball? I love volleyball. It's we so should do it. On the it's beach. fun, right? It's it a fun, fun sport. I yeah. think it really takes athleticism. It I think it money. takes strategy. I think it takes coordination. I think it takes so many things. It also has a ball, right? Fencing, mm-hmm. nah. You losing me, nah. Archer. You're like, me. why am I like shooting bow and arrows? We in twenty twenty four. It's niggas a sport. Got, it's a craft. Niggas got hammers. Nah, nah. But you can't you get see what South Korea but you do. Can't, but you yes. can't get a, a gold medal for shooting a nigga with a Glock. Nah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Shout out to Yeji Kim. I will, oh, you let me all day. What kind of guns? Uh, a pistol, I think. All right, we're gonna let her. She said, she said the, yeah. she's at the world record for a pistol. Shout out to Yeji Kim, South Korea, baby. Shout out to South Korea. You see what I'm saying? The real shooters. So, yeah, I'm surprised, that you're, I'm surprised yeah. at your answer because I was thinking about this. I literally put it on the docket for our topics. I was like, would you guys let your kids be like pursue Olympic to be an Olympic what? athlete? And I was like, I thought you, you would say yes because it's like, you know, competitive, it's like lifelong dedicating myself to this. But I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't know. Of course, if they really want to, I would. I will support my child, whatever they want to do. But the risks of it are just so scary. What are like, the risks? You, you dedicate 20 plus years of your life to this one moment. And yes, if it works, it works. And that's mm-hmm. a dream country, the best moment of your entire life. But what it what it, what if it doesn't like what happens now like you like Unfortunately, what, what happens like, that is that is the that's fo- a risk you should take yeah like, that is the fork in the road that a lot of athletes have to take when they don't make it professionally or don't make a lot of ton, a ton of money overseas I know, that, and I'm usually you dedicate not the, your whole life to this but I'm not it is like what it the is. glass half empty type of girl right. but with this it's like your life like let's say you are good enough but like mm. you're you're living at the same time of this other athlete who's just slightly better than you like mm. there's so many factors that. Mm. And then what do you do after the Olympics? And you can't compete anymore? I don't know. I'm usually like, go for it, chase your dreams. But there's just so much to But consider. a lot of these sports have like leagues. <laughs> yeah. That they flourish they in broke. and make money from. That's why you need the to bowling stay league is, The bowling league is not broke. They make good money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think, I, like. <laughs> Them niggas make money. Put it like this. One of my homies in a hood, he bowl real good. Shout out to Reeks. Damn, we shout out to Reeks. We told him to go up there. He would have made some big bag and he know it. If, oh. He upset if, right now. If, if. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Reese. We love you. Shout out to Reese. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I, I'm just not supporting my kid like yeah. becoming an Olympic fencer. What? No. What I'm about not. Olympic oh. boxer? Like I, a track and field. Bobsled. You would support I'll that? I let a nigga do a bobsled. No. What? Why not? Look, First look, off, no these what? are difficult things. I don't give a fuck how difficult. But are you going to get me are. out the hood? If I still got to work when you nah. qualify for the Olympics, nigga, fix your career. You was been supposed to get out the hood. No. Facts. You supposed to get out your hood for your kids. <laughs> but like, no. You supposed to get out the hood for your kids. What kid, if I want to be the stereotype? Then that's bad. We want what better if I want to live that? No. Get me out. No. Mm-hmm. You should have got the kid out. The kid ain't have to be in. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all really, like mm-hmm. what Reggie just said, mm-hmm. right? You said everything and you kind of proved my point. No, yeah, that's why I, I'm, I'm looking like, on the side of not. 20 years, working really hard. That's what all getting athletes Getting to this do. point. No, some athletes work <laughs> 20 years and get a bag. They're terrible at their sport or they're not considered really great, but they got a bag that changed their life. That's, that's what I want my kid to Isn't do. Isn't that subjective, Please, though? go be, <laughs> who's the worst nigga in the NBA? Damn. Not the straight coming. Nah. <laughs> oh, oh. Go Sh- be shout out to my nigga, um, nigga that had the triple, Tony Snell. Go be Tony. Like, shout out to my nigga, you Tony Snell. Snell. What's his name? The first, Tony Snell. First Snell? player ever. Yeah, Tony Snell. First Snell. player ever to average zero, 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 and zero and play in more than 20 minutes. Sound Go like be me. Tony Snell. Legend. Yo. You get what I'm saying? Go be Kendrick Perkins. Look what Kendrick did yeah. with his career. But that's my thing, though. People would have told Kendrick that, hey. You're not the best, but he figured out he could do broadcasting after. There's different things you can do. But you know what he did as he got to his broadcasting career? Mm -hmm. He collected millions of dollars. Yeah. There is no trajectory for the fencing nigga that's ass. So money to you is millions. Yeah. Well, Hmm. I think money. An opportunity. I think money can be in the hundred thousands. Hold on, I have a question. I have a question. So since we're talking about like. You're lying, right? No, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Okay. Is that New York save on? This is No. This is life. You've Bro. been exposed to really rich people Bro. in your life. If Hundred thousand. If we it's move, great money and it's living. If we move to fucking Montana, Kansas, just we're that's what I'm saying. We're big city guys. I yeah. understand how we look at certain numbers and inflation. Right. Mm-hmm. If we move out there, bro. Those hundreds of thousands are gonna feel like millions. Even Texas, like that's like, the, bro, the that's, come on, states, bro. There's, yeah, there you are have tons a mansion. Of, there what's are the tons question? of people. What's the real like? The real question is that that's still is considered money to some people. Oh no, that is considered depending on where yeah. you are. Depending on where you are, that's money. I want real money though. 
That's, <laughs> that's a money. York, that's a New Yorker. Mm-hmm. But Bro, it's real like, money. Like, yeah, they said they said if Jeff Bezos were to spend a million dollars a day right now, mm-hmm. he would need five hundred and forty four years before he goes broke. Dang, that's I money. Hate him. Now, that's money. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> like, just give me that's, some money. That's, that's Wait, but I, I have a quick that. question. So, since like it seems like monetary uh, payoff is very important to supporting your kid's career, yes. Mm-hmm. So, like, what if they really were passionate about being like a like a zoologist? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that was really. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like their I dream. Know, just funny to Would you? Not support that uh, because it's not. Let's say it, it's not a very mm-hmm. lucrative business. Mm-hmm. Like, would you not support that? Like that was genuinely their passion. Like they really have dreams about. It. They're like, I really want to do this. That and you would be like, no. How up am I? <laughs> is what I would ask. You. Same scenario as me asking about the fencing kid. Okay, I would accept that happily. Why? What? Why not? Because the fencing? I think that's <laughs> because you're wasting your athleticism on fencing. <laughs> When you could have been a soccer player. That's really a swordsman. No, like, what, you really no, just raise a swordsman. You really no, no, no. About Let's get into it. If your passion Let's get into is Let's get into animals. It. You watch Game of Thrones. Of course. Your son would be a, your daughter would be a swordsman. Well, then go audition for Game of Thrones and go bring the money home. Nigga, why the fuck you fencing in the oh, Olympics? Man. Fuck out of here. You can do both. No. Yes. No. A lot of the times, people, times a, year. a lot of the times, these movies, these films, they hire people in professional fields to do the task. True. That's a fact. I gotta do a little Stunt bit more research. All of that I shit. have to do more research. You know movies, you. movie buff fuck out here. You know the research. I know. <laughs> oh, if my kid came to me and said, "Dad, I want to save animals. I think that's beautiful, and I'm gonna support." But they're that. gonna be broke. Well, then I gotta like, have another kid. You, know, you never saw the real Tars in on Instagram? I gotta go make another one. <laughs> that nigga is not broke. No. No. What? No. The real Tars in on Instagram. All, all oh, he, the real Tarzan. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's no, dedicated he's his no, entire. No, he's doing great. He's doing amazing. Yeah, 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 doing. Yeah, don't take that passion from that child. Yeah, you can get a lot of marketing money. Get some shit if you ask. I'm just gonna make more. Cause one I, of them yeah. got a hit. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. One of them got a hit. I ain't mad at it. If the first one <laughs> is about passion and not about money, we gotta make a, little, a money maker. Yeah, we gotta get one of them. Was your shit about passion and money? It was both. That's why I'm here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before Boy, we were part, no, 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 no. Before we were part of the Joe Budden, all that shit. I was always about my money. Ask anybody. He's I a know. I, I, I never <laughs> said he was not. Okay. But in terms of the career choice we took, right? Like, uh-huh. I'm not. I'm Nigerian. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer. Mm-hmm. I did not. Led. I did not. Uh, my parents would have told me, or my folks would have been like, "Yo, you didn't chase the lucrative route." Mm-hmm. I would have argued, like, "Hey, I'll figure it out eventually." But I know I, I can at least flourish in this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, son. Make a little, okay. you make a little something now. I'm going the route, my parents' route, not to be corny, but they always, <sighs> they always let us, never told us, they were not like uh, immigrant parent mindset, like yeah. the whole doctor, lawyer thing. They always let us choose what we want to do. And they raised three successful kids in a row. So oh, it works, on. guys. So. Oh, my on. parents were like, yo, we going to put you in the best position. You figure it out. <laughs> Amen. If you make money, you, <laughs> you do. If you don't, damn. That's some Haitian shit, though. I ain't nah, going to lie. Facts, facts, yeah, facts. that's how y'all do. Facts. Just throw them in the field and figure it out. Facts. Yeah, and no, I support that, though. Yeah, do. I pray my kid never picks up a sword. <laughs> Still thinking about <laughs> he mad as hell. He mad I'm as hell. I'm just because I don't want to have that conversation with him. Like, yeah, this ain't gonna work out. What for if us. it works? What if he's like us. the famous? Like, yeah. who's the most the- famous swordsman no, no, no. in the history Zorro. of life? John Snow. By the time your kid is like in the Olympics, like 2030 or something, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. 2030. No, Damn. let's say. I don't know. You think I got a kid now? Oh shit. Oh, 2040. 2040. 2040. 2040. Let's say the trend is like. The, the the fencing people are really cool. Like, and he's like on the Wheaties box and shit. Right. Nah, because in the era God that God works I, in mysterious if, ways. Yes. The era that I grew up, that shit. <laughs> so I'm never letting my kid do that shit. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Yo. I don't care how popping that shit get. No, the, 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 <laughs> no, for real, hear me out. I'm leaving. I'm going home. I don't like it no more. Hey, yo. <laughs> Whoa! He said, "Now it's time to leave." Cause he know, and sync no Backstreet Boy know. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Alex, take us out. <laughs> hey, y'all! This has been a Need to Know podcast. What you need to know when you need to know on the Need to Know podcast. Please don't forget to subscribe to our. YouTube channel, our Patreon. Patreon. And please come back next week. I know we was bugging this week. (laughs)
But Were please, we? yeah, we was. But please come back next week. We love you all. Peace, man. Goodbye. Gang, we out of here, y'all. Peace. Gang. What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? You are about to tap into our Patreon. We promised y'all. We told y'all. We've been giving it up crazy over there. Y'all about to get a snippet. Uh, please do not judge me. Don't judge us. Don't judge all of us. Yeah, because we really give it up over there. I've been loving the episodes that we've been doing. I have. I have. We've been doing them in the comfort of our homes, but the mm-hmm. content has still been as if we're in the studio. Very yes. intimate. Yeah. For, for sure, sure. For sure. sure, sure. And uh, if you enjoy what you're listening to, if you what you're about to hear... That is available in the description below. So please make sure y'all click there, tap, sign up. We are giving y'all extra episodes every single week. We are not missing any weeks. That's two episodes Mm -hmm. a week from the Needs to Know podcast. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I know y'all really want to hear this content. So please make sure y'all tap in. We hope y'all enjoy. Start y'all week off. Again, that's every single Monday. Y'all are getting new episodes. Alex, Reggie, how y'all feel? Feeling great. Mm Patreon.com slash Needs to Know podcast. Meet you over there. Are we at that point? Y'all want to get to know each other a little bit better? Oh, gosh. Type shit. Oh, I mean, we can continue to talk about athletes. I'm, I'm always down to shit on these niggas. I don't know because I'm <laughs> nervous because you said the questions are wild. Well, no, I, I took that that out. So we're gonna do it a little bit different today. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. we're we're gonna choose because there's three deck of cards. If you're new to the Patreon, oh this is something we've liked to add. Right, where there's a game, and I, I'm gonna give mm-hmm. them some a little bit of promotion, even though they don't need it. It's <laughs> called Truth or Drink. Um, we're not gonna be drinking. We're only here to tell the truth, okay? Only, only gonna tell the truth. But there's three decks, and there's three different colors. And in this game, there's multiple colors. Like we're not playing it right. We're playing the need to know version of truth or not drink. <laughs> like so, please. Um, but yeah, the, the, there's gonna be a number, and you pick the number, and then that will determine the color card that we get. How does that sound? And then I'll let y'all pick my number so that I can't be biased to which deck I want to pick out of. Sound cool? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, cool. Uh, number one through, let's do 20. One through t- 20. Damn. Wait, who's going first? Reggie. Okay, Reggie, you want to go first? Lady first? Uh, 15. 15? Wait, do you guys have a favorite number? Yeah. Are you going to tell me? Uh, <laughs> 34. I'm sorry. Aw. Why? Yeah, my... is, it, is it biblical? <laughs> you know, knowing me, it gotta be biblical, right? It's actually like my angel. It, that shit has been following me for like Aww. past five years. No funny shit. Like I see it numerous amounts of times throughout the week. Oh, you week. know I love shit like that. Yeah, I know. It's definitely thirty-four. I might get it tatted. You should. Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite number, one or fourteen, because I was Ugh. born January fourteenth. Boring. <laughs> but that's all I got. Kid. That's all I born got. Kid. Um, you said fifteen though. Yes. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Huh. What is something you like about me that other people just don't appreciate? <laughs> <laughs> you got a list. Come on, Red. You got a list. I don't know. Okay, because this is this is like a weird question because there are a lot of things I like about both of you guys, but I don't know if people don't appreciate them. Well, answer it for both. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Savon, I do appreciate no, I like and think that people don't appreciate your intensity. Like I think Word. because I feel like with us, I feel like I've said this a million times too, because we've had similar discussions about shit like this, but like without your intensity, this like we can't do this. Like we just can't. Like Word. um I know what Alex brings to the table in terms of need to know, but I don't think he has like that that breed of intensity that you bring (laughs) so like uh yeah i don't know how to describe it like it's like sometimes you're very just like if we have to get something done you're very tunnel vision and you're like guys no we're doing this and i'm like oh my god okay fine (laughs) um and i think that shows in everything you do every area of your life you're very successful and it's because of your intensity so don't ever let people bully you to being not intense um (laughs) alex (laughs) i don't know because what do people not appreciate um it's literally just one thing when i'm not around them they be mad (laughs) oh my god that's literally it bro i promise you that's my only beef no no no. bro but i feel bad i feel bad i i feel like i'm sorry to our producers but i'm just gonna steal that answer because that is the perfect answer to this question because I I appreciate that about you because like I hate when people don't understand that 
and you have mentioned this before you're like yo like i just need my space and i'm like do people not understand that <laughs> like no. and you, you you have told us before like yo like whether it be a girl or like a friend like they don't get it and i every time you say that i'm like i get it alex <laughs> like, <laughs> like me being i mean you're an only child but me i feel yes. like middle ch middle child kind of uh, overlaps with that as well like i'm just right, right. the stereotype is the outcast of the family where i'm not the outcast of the family i'm the glue okay <laughs> I, keep, I keep this family together but the outcast like i love just being in my room by myself while the whole mm -hmm. family's downstairs like yeah. i need my alone time so every time you say that i'm like alex i feel you people don't no. appreciate that but no. definitely take your time be level-headed that's why you're so level-headed because you like your alone time that's so, the yes. crazy part Reggie. they don't even realize that's how i'm able to be me that's how i'm able to recharge <laughs> yeah. like, that makes sense that makes yeah. a lot of sense i saw yeah. alex yawn the other day for the first time this oh, piece, this recent recording? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, last I saw Al last yeah, last week. I saw Alex yawn like, and I was jarred. Oh <laughs> I was like, wait, he's human. <laughs> he's not a robot. He, he he gets tired. Oh my god, so when now we're, I get that. That is when you recharge. When we were talking about our <laughs> when we were bonding over our panic attacks, Alex was like, What? <laughs> I'm like, wait, y'all be having panic attacks? No, and he's like, You guys don't just like get over it like yeah. <laughs> yeah, i don't just take a deep breath and it, the problem you're a therapist worst nightmare <laughs> like you are a therapist worst nightmare bro for honestly. sure no it's true. honestly it's true <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be uh, tr trying to dissect me and i'm like nah nah like <sighs> you're good <laughs> alex let's 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 go with you pick a okay. number one through 20 my good brother uh tres okay oh my gosh i'm sweating sorry <laughs> all right tell us about a time in which a romantic partner just didn't understand how to do a certain thing sexually <laughs> oh. oh shit didn't know how to do a certain thing oh man you know with us guys it's, it's pretty like simple can you can you toot that thing up nice without your back dropping <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, you, you know, back, you know, gonna have a good form when you're in that back shot position. Wait, you know? but the you mm. say you don't want the back to drop, but I thought it was supposed to drop, and like people, no, guys arch. don't like, yeah, arch, no, yeah, but arch. guys don't like when you arch up. Just no, two. We don't like up. the end. We, we don't like, like the U. Yeah, we like the U. Like make it come like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I it thought like that. Yeah, I thought Alex said without your back dropping. Got you. Got you. Okay, never mind. I get it now. No. You get it now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, okay. the second one is just, you know, don't add no teeth when you eating it up. That's a big one. That's a big that's one. That's a big one. Now, that's there was one. this, that's, that's probably the one for us. There was an occurrence where young lady was gassing it, was gassing it, like, oh my God, like, and I ain't gonna lie, this girl liked to eat. <laughs> so... So, so I was, I was, I was, I was already signed up. <laughs> Wait, do you mean like sexually or like food? Food. Oh shit! She was a big girl. She was a big girl. <laughs> she was on the you know big girl. Okay. Golden okay. Corral. Okay, like okay. you could tell, she makes plates. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to go. Can, to go. You could still deal with it though. It wasn't too too much where you yeah, just yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah, deal yeah. with it though. You could still deal with it, but you could tell they was feeding her since a child. So I'm already kind of believing her. I'm taking in the gas. I'm like, all right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me tell you something. As soon as she got down there, she just stayed on the helmet. All right? And that's when I got my helmet and took, got out the fuck out the race. Got out of Dodge. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> aside from that, aside from that, it ain't really much. Because I do feel like when it comes to a lot of these sexual things, the onus is on us guys to kind of set the precedent. Well, not head, of course. I ain't about to show you how to suck dick, man. Not at this but, age. Yeah, not at no age. Um, I ain't about to show you. No. <laughs> when we're younger, like, so. I feel like... <laughs> when we're way younger i'm talking about like high school college yeah. maybe even there is some like okay can you do it this way i feel like that's some guidance no. learning some guidance. guidance yeah learning right? it's like yo put your hand yeah. right here yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, aside from that it's, uh, that's on us guys yeah i ain't mad at that uh reggie pick a number for me please 14 so that i can't be biased <laughs> 14 of course <laughs> uh what's the best compliment that you've ever gotten on your sexual performance Damn, oh my god, why are these so sexual? 
These niggas well, is free. They're not, no, they're not all sexual. Y'all just happened to pick the two numbers that were dedicated <laughs> to sexual fucking questions. Yours was pretty wholesome, Reggie. Uh, <laughs> wait, and I wait, that's so funny because I picked 15 and mine was mad wholesome, and I picked yeah. 14 for you, and it's mad sexual. So the yeah, Lord, yeah, the yeah, Lord yeah. got me. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, the best compliment I received. Oh gosh. Uh, I, and uh, no, beware, I'm beware not, guys, because this is Mr. Yeah. Sex here. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not even crazy. It's not even crazy. Why she called you Mr. Sex? No, no, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just gave us a whole breakdown <laughs> of how he was in his bag. Um, this, this, I, I was told one time that this girl wanted to mold my dick. <laughs> Okay, you're so not even she, done. Oh my god, hold on. Yeah, no, she she was like, I, I, I want to mold it and take it with me. Like, I don't even <laughs> give it to nobody else. So, all right, sorry you have to hear that, Karen. Yeah, sorry, that was a pretty high compliment. Man, she was greedy as hell. Yeah, Damn. yeah. I was, I was like, oh wow, you like that? Oh, Damn. God, so that was fun. That That's was a good fun. answer. Uh, That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even too crazy. I think we can honestly wrap there. We can save some questions for the next Patreon episode. Oh shit! Sure. Also, since I am home and we're on Patreon, I gotta take a shit. So oh, you're trying to go? Okay. I figure we should just, or we could pause it and come back after I take a shit. But <laughs> I gots to go. Oh no, no, we could end this now. You take a shit, and we have a shit intermission, and then boom, shit, a shitty intermission. All right, so y'all end it. I'll I'll see y'all on the next episode. Okay. Thanks, (laughs) y'all. See y'all next episode.